Hello, guys. How's it going? Brian Boardman. Brian Boardman. This is... This is God calling Brian Boardman. Brian Boardman, you have been found guilty. Guilty of sim racing and using the BMW logo. You have disappointed not only yourself, but the entirety of my creation. And as the creator of the universe, you will now be punished. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I had to get a sandwich. Look at this. Cheese and ham. I've now put ham on my sim rig. Cheese and ham and salad and things. Right. <laughs> He's a bit vindictive. I will now place. I will now place disease and fanning around the earth. All because of Brian Boardman. <laughs> I will also create driving simulators with terrible force feedback. <laughs> and then, only then, I will spread pestilence around the earth in the form of COVID-19. <laughs> and then you will be vaccinated. And you will all have 5G internet. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh, garlic bread's always good. Basic. Oh, there's no pickle. You have to have pickle in the plumbing. Oh, here's the server, by the way, guys. Let's start off. GT server. God took it too far. It's not a voice changer. I'm really good at controlling my... Um, I'm really good at controlling my vocals. Takes years of training. The universe was constructed over 42 billion years ago. After graduating from Oxford University <laughs> and writing my thesis on particles emitted from black holes. I became a professional skateboarder and released Tony Hawkins, <laughs> Stephen Hawkins, pro skateboarder. True story. There is an absolute streaming torrent of misinformation surrounding AMS2. It's brilliant. Goodbye. I am Bandicoot91. I am one of the number one biggest fanboys of Automobilista 2. I have no critical thinking skills and therefore will type in in comments on the internet. <laughs> Imagine Tony Hawkins. <laughs> Should we just start it and get driving again? Hopefully it doesn't crash. Exterminate! <laughs> Exterminate! 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 <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> it sounds like a a really small formula car.
<laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the world's first inaugural miniature Formula One race. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I shouldn't be allowed on computers. Right. Ow. Get in the server, guys. Why can't you join? Why can't you join? What's wrong? Can no one join? Do I, is it because we can't, people can't join whilst it's going? No. Someone's loaded. No, someone's loaded. Hello, I cracked the 1983. Let's see if one more person can get him. Oh, okay. Let me let me make a new one then. That's weird. Oh, hang on. Got the Spitfire, it's good, it's fun playing. Oh, you haven't got it. Oh, thanks for that. Right, oh, settings. Game of Muscle 2000. Public. Yeah. Rules and regulations. It's all good. Right, it should work. Yeah, it should, it should work. I put it on the same thing, but you... Uh, you probably don't mesh with ACC because the force feedback is terrible. <laughs> so if you use force feedback to drive, uh, ACC requires a lot of getting used to. Right, that should all work, right? I've just put same class. The problem is there's only one GTE. So, okay, just for you guys that don't have the DLC, Jesus, I will do this. <sighs> the stuff that I do for you people, the stuff that I do just, just for you people, I bought this as well, so, you know. There you go. So I can complain. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, it's not like people can... You can't say... You can't go, Oh, you can't tell people need to buy the DLC because you got it for free because you're an idiot YouTuber. Because I bought it, so... <laughs> Right. We're ready. <laughs> That's not annoying already. Just spent good money for an upgrade. What have you upgraded? Le Luco Suzo, thanks for subscribing. Yeah, I bought the season pass. I went all in before it came out. I was like, Reza, here's my money. Take it. Hello, JK. Right, there we go.
What's new about Automobile Listed 2? Uh, they, they improved the um, snappiness, reduced that a little bit, the oversteer. Fly in your living room. Oh, seven motorsports. Is, is everything good for the 15th still? <laughs> so I don't forget to. Uh, I, I wanted to email you to make sure everything's all good before I book in transport. I might stay in London before I uh, come up. I've not decided yet. I, I bought the Mecha Cup pedals and I love. Yeah, they're great. They are really nice pedals. New tracks and cars. Uh, cheers, cheers, man. <laughs> it's not like it's a midnight. No escape from work. Okay, here we go. Oh, first of all, can I change, turn that thing off? Steering assist. No, no, no. Automatic clutch. That's fine. Manual. I get um, I get my 5G internet installed on the 10th. Why can I not do turn the pit stuff off? Hello, crafty. No, I don't hate it. Right, people get confused, right? I am critical. I'm a critical person. I am critical of everything. I look at stuff critically because I. it's a better way of living. And the problem is, culturally, only the Germans are as critical. <laughs> so... Yeah, the, the problem is... That um, people think, oh, you're, an, you're a, a complete hater of something or whatever. It's like, no, it's not that simple. Just because I point out w what I think is a specific issue with something, I'm just talking about that one issue. Like, just because there's a thing with one issue and then people seem to disagree with that issue doesn't mean that everything is bad about something. It's weird. I'm not that critical of AMS2. This is what's mental with the AMS2 fanboys. I was like the first YouTuber. I, I put my title bar on the YouTube channel, AMS2, before it came out, AMS2 Best Sim of 2019. Admittedly, it wasn't. It didn't even come out in 2019. But, <laughs> but the point is, and I, 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 with the updates and for a year, I've been like covering AMS2 and saying like, you know, the good, the pros and cons of it. After a year, I'm like, okay, look, it's been out for a lot. They've been working on it for a year. I can be a little bit more... It's fair to be a bit more critical of, of things that are genuinely not so good compared to, like, other Sims or what seems unrealistic. Like, it's fair enough. It's been, you know, it was a beta for a while, and then it's been, you know... The moment I apply a little bit of critical thinking and, and you know, actually being critical... All the fanboys start shitting themselves because they're little bitches. <laughs> and it's like it's like you can't have it both ways. You can't you can't have a YouTuber that massively promotes what is effectively a very niche game and a game was being ignored by everyone for over a year. And then the moment that YouTuber points out a couple of things, you have a mental breakdown. <laughs> they can eat a soggy sandwich. <laughs> That's what's... It really annoys me. I literally... I know that there's been a hundred plus people that have bought AMS2 because of me who wouldn't have bought it otherwise. Retconning. <laughs> to wreck on the uh, Star Star Trek, you'd have to wreck on. Right, I get. Is right, okay. Look, Izzy. P 
people in my Discord literally for the last year have been ripping the shit out of me for AMS2 for being too positive about it. So don't give me retconning. <laughs> this is what's stupid. I, I have had this shit taken out of me for over a year on my Discord for being... Uh, for like being a Re Reza fanboy. <laughs> so don't don't give me that. I'm not swearing, you misheard. <laughs> Literally every other week, I'd look at the Discord, and it'd be Izzy and Chili Dog and counter debate and that posting something about me with my bum crack out <laughs> best sim of 2019 exactly best sim of 2019 it will be when it's finished we'll just have to go back in time <laughs> do, do, do. Do the oh the cars slow down better in this than ACC? It's not. I mean, this is a GT car. They've got better brakes than GT. So hang on, the difference between GT3 and GTE. GTE has more downforce right than GT3. Oh, I can never remember. I can never remember. GT has no ABS and more downforce, or is it less downforce? I think it's more. I think it's got better brakes as well. More downforce, no ABS. It's got traction control still. GT is basically designed for um, like endurance to go alongside like World Endurance Championship. Yeah, so G GT3 cars. Do they? Call I can't remember. <laughs> I can't. I can't keep up. It doesn't have rank racing. Look here, is he? I know this is like your prime time here. brown goggles what are you on about I said anyway on the subject of Automobilista 2 the reason why I always want Automobilista 2 to be a really good sim is because if you guys were here when after I'd split up with my girlfriend 300 years ago and I still haven't had another girlfriend since then I'm literally a monk thanks to Covid <laughs> after I like ended up trapped in the land of sim racing and um, evicted from my <laughs> abode. And I oh know no, we were playing Project Cars 2 actually before that. But we were playing Project Cars 2 af after we'd, I'd split up and I was like screwed. And uh, Project Cars 2 was like, we, we played that to death. So. <laughs> So, it was really good though, doing the racing with subscribers particularly. I'm the only gay in the village. <laughs> the, the really nice thing with AMS 2 and Project Cars 2 is the way that you can just host sessions and get driving. No DD girls. I mean, I can't wait for sodding. Honestly, it's, it's been awful. <laughs> oh, 
all praise vaccinations. Oh, uh, speak of the devil. It's our boyfriend. Oh, auto bin. <laughs> it's nice how they've incorporated the auto bin into this. What wheelbase am I using? The um, Fanatec podium wheelbase. Oh, I keep auto bin in it. Is he timed you out? Oh. Oh, nice one. Yeah, we're so lucky that the um, we're so lucky that the COVID um, vaccine rollout, uh, or that the vac the, the main vaccines all work against the Indian variant. Or it seems that way. That would have been shit if it wasn't. Shram Ultra G, yeah, that's the really nice thing about it. UK is really good at doing vaccines, like, like in general anyway. The MMR rollout is uh, always really quite good in the UK. Just think how many people will have 5G internet. This will be great. We'll all be able to watch Game of Muscle live streams from your mobile phone. Hello, Michael Mashimi. cars here we go are oh, you serious I wanted to get a Samsung phone here's me with my <laughs> actually to be fair I, I'm using a a Chinese phone and I, I, it's horrible but it's okay it works but oh hello hello James this is sector 3 <laughs> this is not ranked racing racing boom dresses experience we are disappointed here at sector 3 we believe in the supremacy of why actually never mind also don't question why we are called sector 3 either goodbye sector sector 3 <laughs> it's my german voice that's the first donation <laughs> the first german donation from sector 3 <laughs> She's German. It's my German, my German robot voice because they replaced, they replaced this strict other one. So I had to make a German sector drei. <laughs> oh, sector drei. Good company that. <laughs> oh, sector drei. Amazing. Oh, I love Se Sector Drei. She speaks German, so if you if you type German words, we, we'll learn German through her. <laughs> she's my she's my, re my re replacement. The only woman I can have. It's my uh, <laughs> German German DD girl. Thank you for the donation there, Sector Drei. Oh my God. Snagging their ears. <sighs> okay. 
<laughs> we've got four. Oh, no, we do have a few GT3 cars. Sounded like a saxophone song. Why can't I? What's going on here? Yeah, these are GT3 cars. <laughs> I have started eating biscuits again. Yeah, but I'm, I'm eating bread right now. Hello, Lab Pong. Yeah, GT3 cars. Uh, GT3. Long Beach is a bit of a silly, silly track. Uh, yeah, Heldenwar. Trottle, trottle, trottle. Oh. Sieben, 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 sieben. Thank you for that German tech now. I've been siebened. Sie gut. Hang on. We've lost uh, we've lost the music there. You've out you've Oh no, you shouldn't alt tab out of this game. Huge error. Now my frame rate's going to stutter. Well. Oh no, we're okay. We're okay. Thanks for the donation there. It's the madness game engine for some reason when you sometimes when you alt tab out of it it loses the uh, frame timing you get this weird micro stutter I, I haven't tried running it windowed recently though I might need to try that Yeah, no, I, I I did used to use borderless window, but then that would cause its own timing issues in the past, but they might have fixed it now. That used to be... Trottle, trottle, trottle! <laughs> Hello, Dampkoff. Wie geht's? Actually, I don't care. I know you want a Deutsch, lieben Frau, so here I am. Meine Name ist Helga und ich will crush you a tranche little bald British man. You will satisfy my needs at least einmal a day. Is that good with you? <laughs> <laughs> She's beautiful. Yes, Helga. Helga, the quick release. Oh, it's amazing. I'm turning her up. I'm in love with Helga. <laughs> She's got a nice voice. I'm telling you, German accent is the best. Thank you. I'm Frau Helga. <laughs> Und ja! Welcome to learning German. Helga. <laughs> what a feminine name. 
Frau, Frau Helge 7, 8. <lacht> Ah, uh, what an upgrade. What an, thanks for the donation, Izzy, or Chili Dog, whoever it was. The, uh, what an upgrade, guys, to the, to the donation. I was using the stupid, miserable, moody American woman when all along all we had to do was find Frau Helga. Frau Helga makes everything good. I've always found that Germans really like British accent. <laughs> Does Germany have a H? Huh. I like I like how German sounds. <laughs> Sorry, Izzy. Yeah, I, I like how German as a language sounds. I know it, it whoa, we've been bong flongled. I know how you could argue that it's a bit harsh sounding, but I, I quite, I find it quite pleasant. Oh, here we go. Trying to ask a Brit to say Honda without adding an R to the end. Honda. 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 You saying that British people talk a bit simple? <laughs> you, you starting, mate? Gonna come and clean your chimney, if you know what I mean. Flies in here, come attracted to the light. You what, mate? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna sort you out. You can come outside, don't you? Take it outside, bruv. On da. I've just bought a Honda Type R. Chorizia. Chorizo. Chorizo. Chorizao. Are you Spanish? Chorizo. Scotio. <laughs> you what, bruv? Idea. Here we go. The Z. Terizio. Look here, you showing off with your bloody fancy icon on a ski slope. I already hate you. I've not got any ski slopes. <laughs> and I'd really like to be on a ski slope. So I now resent you. Ski slope. Bastard. <laughs> It's not harsh and abrupt, though. Uh, the... The Germans I've met, one in particular, was angelic. <laughs> right. Frau Helga to the... Helga, Ooh. we're going to win this for Helga. Made you hungry with your bread. Cosmin Gabriel Daku, thank you for subscribing. Maybe I said that wrong. <laughs> Close to offending a lot of people there. I, it's going to be more difficult to make that Z than make an Italian put pineapple on a pizza. Pineapple pizza is awesome, though. I don't know why someone would be against that. Also, apparently, that's a German thing. Not, not on uh, pizza, but like um, someone, uh, so a German guy said to me, they get bread with um, a, um, like toast, cheese, and a pineapple circle, and then they, I don't know if they put jam in the middle or something or cherry. That's a, that's a German thing. I've forgotten what it's called. I need to try it. Here we go. Oh, the traffic lights are well quick to change. They're off. 
Hello. Uh, oh, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> we got jammed. Oh. Hello, James. Das ist nicht Frank Racing. Das ist sehr enttäuschend, aber du bist es Oh, for fuck's sake! Zu sein. Come on, guys! Als sie geboren wurden, fragte ihr Vater sie, als er sie das erste Mal sah, ob er sie nachträglich abtreiben lassen könne. Tschüss. What on earth did she say? Come on, guys, let can you please drive a little bit better? <laughs> What, was, what did she say is it? Any translation on that? It sounded it sounded great, whatever she said. Super clean racing. The problem is I've got my force feedback turned up pretty high. So when cars hit me, it breaks my wrists. Suboptimal. I better not translate that. Bloody hell, guys. Why, why has he got barbecues coming out the bottom of his car? <laughs> Some get, we'll, we'll have to password the bloody server at this rate. stuff going on here. We're getting back in there, guys. The racing's back on. Spatial awareness of a of a rock. <laughs> I don't, Frau Helga can say whatever she wants. All, all I hear is beautiful German accent. She can, she can insult me. It doesn't matter. Try not to... What? You've been disconnected from the mo... What is going on here? What? Is, is this Steam updating? <laughs> it turned off the light. I've got like, a mouse and I'm passing out. Oh, Jesus Christ, is that Steam? I think it's the Steam server. This is, this is taking me back to the Project Cars 2 days. Yeah, it's the... Um, it's the Steam... It's when Steam does its update. <laughs> this is taking me back to when we used to play Project Cars 2. And this would happen... This is no, it used to be Thursdays though, not Tuesday nights. I'm drinking a nice coffee here, by the way. Um, Amazon, it's like a uh, weird cat brand. <laughs> that was great. Sold that. Great. Let's move on from that. Oh, is it Tuesday? Well, we just got to wait like five or ten minutes. We'll start another server up. At least I'll password it though. I'll password it this time. <sighs> Middle of the clear cup races. Oh, you won, Oliver. Well done. Congratulations. <laughs> 24 hour endurance race. Well, to be fair, the 24 hour, that'd be realistic. The 24 hour of the uh, Nürburgring had to be stopped like five times. And you did 30 minutes of racing. Bonus Tonus, thank you for subscribing. Thanks for clicking the like button, everyone. If you all click the like button, we get 100 likes per hour in the first hour, which would be fantastic. That is nicht gut. Do I ever sleep? No, I have a lot of sleep issues. <laughs> it's a bit annoying. Yeah. You, you're a lucky. Thank you for subscribing. The uh, service should be back up in a minute and then we can rejoin. 82 likes, eh? It's the AMS2 users against ACC users here. Second stream tonight. Are the ACC users more generous than the AMS2 users? That's, that's all I can say. 
It's uh, midnight here now. Eat kiwis. They've got lots of uh, iron in kiwis. Okay, we'll just uh, give it a chance. <laughs> Eat German, but well, the problem if you drink alcohol, it doesn't. Um, oh, this you think serves back. If you drink alcohol, it doesn't. You don't get good quality sleep, so you might fall asleep, but you don't get your brain can't clean itself, or whatever it does. De plaque. <laughs> Jk, sorry, man. The service back. Maybe I'm, I restart Project Car, uh, Project Cars Two. <laughs> Project Cars Three. Point five. You need to drink hard until you black out. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for subscribing. 91 likes. We're almost there. Are you guys all on PC? You do know that Frau Helga will uh, write you a love letter <laughs> if, you, if you click the like button. I think this is an internet thing. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Oh, Tom K, thank you. Oh, she's not reading it. Why is she not reading it? Or did you just send me money for no reason? Uh, no, you can join with that yeah. DLC. Oh, thank you, Ricardo Peggy, for subscribing. Um, we've got a problem here. CSL. I can't even remember how it goes. Dropping MDDs, dropping MDDs. <laughs> Reach for the clutch. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're back. Um. How did it, I can't remember the words. I'm going to password this now because we had enough people to fill it up. I can't even remember my own song lyrics. I'd be like the worst singer. Why can't it? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, there it is. Right. Reach for the clutch feels so much. <laughs> I don't even know what I was, what I was, what I come up with after time. Right. Let's try that again. We're doing this race. If it kills me. Let's make it earlier in the morning for the race. We've got accelerated time. It'll look nice. Okay. Get in there, guys. Trap speed simulators. If you squint trap speed simulators, your logo looks a little bit like Tesco's. <laughs> you probably didn't need... Look, look, everyone squint and look at trap speed sim racing's icon. It looks a bit like Tesco's. Tesco's own brand. Uh, didn't like the GT3 cars physics of Project Cars 2, but there were some classes that felt okay. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Hallo, mein kleiner Freund. I just want you to know if you put Azim Rick in the Wohnzimmer, I will kill you. <laughs> The only thing we will do in the bedroom is counties. I have very distinct needs, yeah? Ihr würste better be normal sized and not a cocktail sausage. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like how softly spoken she is. <laughs> I'm a cocktail and sausage. <laughs> <laughs> We've just this is it this is it. Oh yeah. Well she wants to talk about meats in the bedroom now. Helga, what a babe. I don't know what Helga looks like. She's beautiful, that's all that matters. Right, let's do this. Christ almighty. Third time <laughs> third time lucky. Yeah, oh yeah. 
If I meet a nice German girl called Helga, <laughs> I'm gonna hate you guys. I don't know, one bad, it'll be whenever they do it. I need to buy my headlights to this actually. Plus with is T in capital letters if you want to join in. Wabbit. That's that's number one. Oh, hello. <laughs> Subtle. What is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. USA your Weiner Schnizel to defile my pretzel. 77,777. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> defile my pretzel. <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? Thank you for the donation there, Mr. Holdemois. You wish you could uh, defile her pretzel. Why is there no one else on track? I'm, I'm confused. Only fans. Woo. Silverstone is such a good try. P. I've just changed a bunch of force feedback settings with this custom file. And uh, this this feels very similar to the GTE that was in uh, the Ferrari GTE in uh, Project Cars 2. The, the force the, the force feedback of it is quite similar. It's different different handling profile. Comparing this GTE to other Sims, um, what other Sims have GTE? R Factor Two has GTE cars. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hello, boots.
what is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Entschuldigung, ist das nicht meine Hamburger? Entschuldigung. Entschuldigung, ist das mein Hamburger? <laughs> is it is Schonigung? Does that mean uh, hello? Or uh, how are you doing? How are you doing? Is this my hamburger? Thank you, Boots. <laughs> A Schonigung. Schonigung. <laughs> Ooh. Password is T in capital letters. Yeah, I recommend you try these four speedback settings that I'm, that I'm using uh, now. I'll, I'll put the force feedback file on. I do a video about force feedback and put it on. Give you a file because these settings I'm using now are a lot better. But yeah, I, I don't know whether Sims with GTE in them, to be honest. Ace, ACC. The oh, God, here we go. James, first need to come clean with you. I am from Bavaria. <laughs> es ist the Alabama of Deutschland. Und mein Großmutter, SHE has yet to accept Germany lost ya. Du not mention die war around here. Also du not mention schwart people. Please for the love of God. Trottel, trottel, trottel! Mit die Handy in die Hände in die Höhe. Go Gamer Muskel. 777 Millionen. Oh, no. 777 <laughs> Wurst. Oh, thank you, Joel Pablo. Thank you, my ba ba Bavarian. <laughs> Elgas from Bavaria. Oh, no. It's all right. Bavaria is still, it's still German. Thank you, guys. Bloody hell. What were we saying? <laughs> What is the motive oh, behind Jesus. this demand? Necessity. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. I love gamer muscle feeds. It keeps my tea happy. <laughs> Thank you, David. Oh, my God. Thank you, guys. What were we talking about before, before Helga went off on one? About... You spoke to a German girl who told me never talk about... Oh, yeah. I don't know. I've not experienced that from Germans, to be honest, that I've met. I've only, I've only met... I've only talked to, like, 15 Germans, so... Weirdly, like, the most... <laughs> the first time I really encountered proper racism was from some Muslim friends I had. And they were really racist towards um, Jewish people for no reason, out of the blue. Mm. <laughs> I was like, whoa. It's like really nice, friendly Muslim girls that are at college with me, out of the mm. blue, just came out with this insane anti-Jewish racism. I was like, whoa. Where's this coming trottel, from? Trottel, trottel. Mental. Ich will nur Tee trinken mit Helga und der Gamer Muskel. <laughs> thank you. Hey, good, thank you, man. I always find that with racism. It's really, it always seems to come when you, you have like general racism, which is like just depressing background racism that's there. But then like you get these burnt bubbles of like extreme racism that just appear out of nowhere and it's like just shocking it's like what why what? you got a dog in this race we're gonna win this oh here we go <laughs> what's going on What is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. Necessity for money. Oh, thank you. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Alors, tu ne veux pas une petite fille française? <laughs> She's a German, German French girl. How, do you not... Do you not want a small girl... A, girl, a French girlfriend? Do you not want a French girlfriend? <laughs> wow. 
I'm not going to complain. I, you know, whatever. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Right, on the subject of cars, the exciting subject of cars, what other sims have a GTE? I don't... R Factor 2, ACC does an AC, no one ever races GTE. I mean, the Porsche RSI, and that's not GTE. Um, it's not the GTE one, though, is it? Only Project Cars 2, and... Uh, and Oh yeah, I racing. Well, I mean, I racing cars just drive different to anything else. <laughs> Is it oh, okay? Trottle, trottle, trottle. <laughs> Kindergarten is the same how kindergarten in German. Aber nichts geht neben Wiener Schnitzel eine echte Currywurst mit Pommes auch Mantaplatte genannt. <lacht> What? Bandenbrot. Thank you very much for those really generous donations here. What on earth was that? Kindergarten. What? I'm learning German here slowly. I'm absorbing it. Yeah, but I, I, I'm I'm not sure what, how you compare where this car, where the handling goes in with other cars. Um, the closest thing is Project Cars 2, really. If you're to make like a direct comparison. Like the GTEs in Project Cars 2, don't really handle like the AC GTEs. It's more, it's more um, pokey. And bouncy than uh, the AC. The AC cars tend to be more gradual in their slides and less poking bouncy. Um, I don't know about race room. I I race is a lot more slot like slidey. Maybe maybe R factor two a little bit. I don't know. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's very much feels like its own thing. But it's, it's hard to say because the force feedback is so different, especially with this file now, with what I've set up as. The, the, and like with Project Cars 2, the force feedback is very different to force feedback in other sims. <laughs> TT Gill's name is... TT Gill's uh, Eastern European. I guess Bavaria is fairly Eastern European. It's not that Eastern European, is it? Yeah, I never... I don't remember... Are you on about R-Factor 2, Ollie P? I only really played uh, um, R-Factor 1 extensively. How... Bavaria is still... I mean, that's like northern Italy. Like, obviously, it's north of Italy. So, it's not that far east. Been the most money heaven. Oh, here we go. Get ready for let get ready for Helga. Hello, Nick Grubau. How's it going, man? Tyrol. What is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. GM will make the most money ever when he plays RMS2 the better of Sims right now. Er Fuktor 4.4 High End File is the best custom force feedback file. <laughs> now she says custom force feedback file. I, AMS Zwei. <laughs> AMS AMS Zwei. Sector Sector 3. <laughs> AMS Vi and Sector Dry. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's the best language ever. Thank you, David, for the donation there. AMS Vi. Forget AMS 2. I'm all about AMS Vi. And uh, Sector Dry. And uh, Aceto Ein. <laughs> I 
I'm not in the race. What do you mean I'm not in the race? Oh, it's broken. It keeps crashing. Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't even notice. It keeps crashing over and over again. Is anyone else having this problem? I didn't even notice. I just sat here watching the screen. Time was frozen. I could have been here for like six hours. <laughs> I'd have just been sat here watching the screen going, oh, this is all right. What's going on? Um, Q Jarrah. Oh, let's update drivers then. Sod me. It's since the last update, it's, it, it never used to crash this much. We, we did like eight hour streams and it didn't crash. Let me get some new NVIDIA drivers. Maybe it's my dash as well. Just, just going to update my drivers here, so get ready for my computer to crash. Uh, just here drinking cider, listening to Kevin Muscle speak in German. Fair enough. I wish I could drink. I, I bought really those non-alcoholic drinks and 0.5% alcohol. And even that makes me... Um, they were like making me feel ill the next day, so... What a fail. I, th I think I, so there's something wrong with me with any any alcohol whatsoever. Maybe I've got auto brewery syndrome. That would explain. <laughs> that would explain a lot. Always dizzy. Always hung over. <laughs> You're on four six six. I don't even know what I'm on. I'm on four six 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 three. Yeah. Oh well, I'm updating now, so time to break the computer. No, I drink loads of fizzy drinks, poods. I drink fizzy drinks all the time. Yeah, well, the broken back probably doesn't help. <laughs> We're just installing drivers here, guys. We will get this bloody racing if it kills me. Well, I, no, it's the opposite, Seven. I will literally not sleep. Oh, it's not going to work on this page, Nick. I don't know if I don't know if she'll read it out. What is the motive oh, behind this demand? Necessity, necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Let's see how this German boat says Grabau. <laughs> Grabau. She likes your name. Grabau. Thank you for the donation. I really appreciate that. Right, drivers installed. What um. I could reboot for good measure, but... Maybe it's my stream deck, the, uh, the, this thing. Right, I'm going to... Uh, we'll try loading it up again. <laughs> Fifth time lucky. What is going on, guys? It, you're all mental. What is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Gruppenleiter Muskel, wie fühlt sich das Frontend an? 7 Billionen 777 Milliarden 777. What? Gruppen Muskel, wie voll ach den Frontend. Is that about Frontend feel? What where what about the front end feel? <laughs> That's number one. Sieben acht billion und Right, let's try this again. Oh dear. Attempt cash in number ten, please. Oh we eight hundred likes per hour as well. Thank you guys. <laughs> Right, we're doing Silverstone. <laughs> I do you know what? I'm gonna turn. Them, should I turn the multi class off? Most people were joining with GTE, so I think most people have got it. Sorry for those of you that don't have the DLC. 
I would recommend getting the DLC though, because this car, this and the Genetta G40, are the two cars that seem to drive like cars. So, um, you know, it's worth getting. What is going on? Maybe it's a specific setting though. Start even earlier. Quality started a bit earlier. Right. <laughs> Password is T. Huge ass, can you get it? It's only because I'm worried that that's what's causing it to crash because this is the only... It's only... Well, let me see if it crashes when we do this and we'll try another multi-class one if not. What? Um, Lupus Aries, it was only since the game updated that we're, that it's crashing. We did, we did reset everything to defaults. <laughs> Full house. Right. Yeah, we did. Re we reset everything before, like reinstalled the game, and then the update is just seems to be crashing a lot. But it could just be one setting. It, uh, the Rukta, uh, our, our Fukta, is what we're using. But ju just for this one, yeah, we're, we're just doing this because I want to do this race without it crashing. <laughs> we're gonna get to doing this race without it crashing. I just want to race. Now I've lost game sound. What on earth? <laughs> That's the right or oh, because I installed the job. I get what's going on there. There we go. At least you can select that, it's quite good. Some games don't let you do that. Uh, Rustus, it's, it was fine before the last update of the game. I'm not using any crazy overclock stuff either. Here we go. Check USB cables. And they improved the braking and they added some more cars to it that are a bit better. Uh, the graphics are nicer as well. Look, the uh, AA and stuff seems a bit better. There's less shimmer. Probably looks a lot better in VR, actually. Yeah, it's weird cat kind of debate. Because... No, like the only real thing that's, you know, all the variable settings are all in the like documents folder, which is all that's all freshly installed on my system. Like it's a fresh file, fresh thing there. I'm using R fuck to 4.5. I've also 
I found with the Fanatec wheels, this is the case with all the Sims. If you run the Fanatec wheel at um, 100 on the wheel and then you run the game at a lot lower, for whatever reason, the Fanatec wheels, they prefer to have higher settings on the wheel. Oh, no, I've sold games. Don't buy it because you're just playing into the hands of AMS2 fanboys. Oh, yeah, and also, hang on, what's this? You can't be buying it because of me because Gamer Muscle, he uh, doesn't... This guy doesn't help, uh, you know, he's, he just slags it off because he's trying to put people off the game. <laughs> the bollocks that people come up with constantly. Should read some of the comments. Can't have it both ways. Uh, Richard B, it's not a lot file. So both Project Cars 2 and AMS 2, the force feedback thing is like exposes like a whole bunch of random shit to the force feedback. This is all because when Project Cars 2 was in development, there was like loads of argument about the force feedback in the game. Uh, when Project Cars 1 it was in development. No, uh, no, it's not a firewall thing. Right? It, it'd just be some. And to be honest, reinstalling the game is often a good fix. But it could be because I'm hosting the session with a certain number of cars, or God knows what. We used to get loads of random crashing in uh, Project Cars 2, so. And Breeze have just done a relatively big update, so then what will happen is that gradually they will bug fix. It's not like an XML file, it's, it's the, the, the loads of different aspects of the physics are, are exposed in the force feedback and then you can choose how they come out with the custom files on top of like that, the whole uh, force feedback curve being adjusted like a lot file to some extent. Yeah. So there's more... It's kind of more similar, to, like it's if it's on a well, let's say it's got more options than um, so like R Factor One or R Factor Two, it that or, or Race Room G Motor stuff. There's a lot of different variables for force feedback exposed in the text file, which you can edit to change force feedback. But most in Race Room, most of them aren't used anymore, and in R Factor Two. Set it the same, but in R Factor One, you could actually adjust the force back quite a bit. Yeah, it, well, the reason why I, I, I think it's probably more just a version of the game rather than the Steam install is because everything else is working fine, and it's also crashing when you go from one session to another, which is typically where the madness engine would crash. I think it's when it, it's it's when it's loading and unloading specific assets. As you guys remember with Project Cars 2, how many times would people get booted out just before the race start? <laughs> it was constant. We see. I've just installed a new driver. That's it's always a good idea, and um, especially. Um, given that the last update did some graphics updates as well, so. Generally, you want to be on the same driver that the developer was developed the game with. I, I, I haven't given never right. I haven't given negative feedback to Automobilista Two. I am just critical, and I will say what I'm seeing in whatever the sim is, and I'm not going to pretend just because it's a sim. I'm not going to imagine something. It's not there. <laughs> I know you're just joking, but the, the problem is most sim YouTubers and most YouTubers in general won't say critical stuff because it's not worth the hassle. Either, or, or, you are, or you're just mentally negative for the sake of being controversial. There's no financial gain from being critical. As a YouTuber, you literally, there's only financial loss, so I don't blame people for not being... Also, there's also the, the social currency loss of people perceiving you as an arse. 
So there's no real gain to it, but I, I, I personally feel like if you don't, if you don't say what you think are the negatives, uh, or, like you subjective or, or, or objective, if you don't point it out, then I think it's disingenuous when you're then being positive because it's like, well, what framework are you operating in? If someone is always like really, really positive about stuff, it's like, well, it's, it then it sort of kind of makes everything meaningless, doesn't it? It's like, well, okay, that person says that's good, but then they don't say anything bad about anything. So does that actually mean it's good? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, come on. Is this steaming? <laughs> We're not allowed. We're not allowed to race. We're doing this race if it bloody kills me. I'm not... Hello, ASMR shapes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, is that steam? Sodden steam. <sighs> oh my God. In that steam. That's not the game loopers. That's steam. Hello. Steam servers. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the. I think that's. Is everyone disconnected, haven't they? Otherwise, if it's not Steam, then it will migrate. We just got to wait for Steam to. <laughs> you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to uh, drive. I'll put the GT4 cars in this. <laughs> Christ almighty. It's not Steam updates, it's Steam. Thank you, ASMR James. It's, St it's Steam's uh, system for servers. And there's, there's Steam. So it's not for the actual server that's been hosted, it's for the the database that goes this person is hosting the server this is where the server address is and then when you click on it the, you go to that person's computer and you're on their server if that makes sense so uh, what's this Matt, Matt, Matt to the forefront. so people want to be blindly positive only want to listen to the same yeah, I know. I, I I get it. Like some people, you know, they've had a hard day at work. They maybe they've got a life or whatever, <laughs> and uh, they don't want to be particularly critical. They just want to chill out and have something positive. So I, I understand it, and I think it's good to have people that cater to that. And I don't think you know, I, I I'm just saying for me personally, I don't find it offensive if someone's critical even if someone says something that i really disagree with if they've got a good reason behind it i i've at least for the first time they say it it's entertaining or you know it's interesting or if it makes you actually think about stuff i prefer that i i personally i don't enjoy if i'm watching um a review on anything like cars or like because i don't really watch that much gaming stuff online um i'm trying to think of a good, an example with like um review programs on tv do i have a review have i done a review on the i've only got a um a uh, decathlon rock rider 550 or 250 or whatever is the cheap one yeah I, full out so i think what well, the problem is is that some people interpret it is that if someone says like if i say oh i think this is rubbish or something's rubbish or whatever 
some people interpret that as me as me or the or a person saying you're not allowed to enjoy it that, that's two different things you're you're someone could say they don't like it they think xyz doesn't work well whatever that's not them saying you enjoy it so you're not allowed to enjoy it they, they might be them saying they disagree with the reasons that you do enjoy it but I mean, there are definitely people out there that are like, "Oh, well, you can't enjoy." I'm not. You're, I don't think you're allowed to enjoy that. <laughs> but I don't. I don't know how many people that is. Like, hello, Bruno. We're just we're we're just waiting for the service to come back up here. The steam steam seems to be doing some weird stuff. Yeah, but, but the thing is, though, they, a lot of the time, what happens as well is people go, oh, that person's just being divisive for drama. But actually, no, they're just being critical. <laughs> Negative Nancy. I, I Personally, I, I find it easier to only... It would be easier for me, and it's easier in general, to just be, just only focus on positives. And it's, you know, and I, I think for a lot of people, it's easier to only focus on negatives. The thing is, I think you need to do both. You need to, like, it's being aware of perceived positives and negatives, like, not just only doing one thing. Like, I think that's the key thing. Thank you, Sean Reed. Also, it's like just because just because someone says some negatives about something you happen to like doesn't mean that they're saying everything's terrible about it. Well, I know sometimes I am told, <laughs> but it has to be true. The thing is, for something to be genuinely funny, it has to be true. Otherwise, it's shit comedy. I th it, yeah, I and mean, this is why I think why people that are a bit depressive and a bit bipolar tend to often find the funny side of things because if you if you are like a bit depressive or a bit bipolar or a bit manic, it means you can really sort of see like the really subjectively good aspects of stuff, but you're also massively aware of the utter absurdity and depression of things as well. So you sort of perceive things from real extremes whereas i think someone that's not manic at all or not you know they're always in a somewhat good mood will always see stuff as positive or or like not they won't see the extremes of it they won't necessarily identify the absurdity of certain things and the same as if someone's always a bit depressive they will never see the positive sides of it and they'll always just see the negative side of everything and, and you know then you, I think you have to see that if you if you can get in a state of mind where you see both angles of stuff, that helps find the funniness in things. Yeah, and there's extremes. There's mate. There's the there's the medical diagnosis of mania, uh, but but obviously there's degrees to like. You can have someone that's there's a spectrum. You can have someone that's a bit manic, but they're not like. They're not going full on mania, you know, they're not like standing on the tops of cars going thinking that they're God. <laughs> and and they're saying they're not they're not like suicidal the next minute. There, there's whole ranges to these things. Yeah, I have got a custom force feedback file. Here we go, let's see if we can get this to work. <laughs> Cashier number seven, please. We'll try again. Oh, Game of Muscle. We'll call it Game of Muscle Steam. Password is T. I will put multi class so those of you that have the DLC can join in because I'm I'm so nice. It just means I'll have to create a new server again, but you know, it'll probably crash or Steam will go down, so it doesn't matter. Um, what's GT5? Let's do that. Why not?
Right, here we go. Let's go for this. <laughs> throttle, throttle, throttle. How dare you criticize the best sim of 2019? <laughs> you just have it set up wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm not salty and not trying to justify my 100 pound DLC pass. I hate you. He didn't ask to be born. <laughs> Thank you, Reese's biggest fan. Oh, Jesus. What is the motive behind this? Oh, the God, here we go. <laughs> necessity. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Will you put the goggles on properly for a race or is that asking too much? At least a qualization. <laughs> I would do, but they fog up. They rule, They get foggy. Uh, I would do otherwise. Thank you for donating. But yeah, I can't. I Honestly, my eyes, I, my eyes will start drying out and watering as well because it's very warm down here. And they, and they are foggy. Thank you very much, Poots. <laughs> oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Life is mostly ten. It depends. Uh, my life's pretty good right now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to rub it in. <laughs> That's weird, it's T in capital letters. Life has its ups and downs. Now there's a setting to change to make it not automatic, but I can't remember what it is. Sterling Bold. Here we go. Right. Hopefully this doesn't crash. Hopefully the Steam servers stay up. Influencer lifestyle. <laughs> Terrible influencer. We uh, drove AC yesterday for like seven hours. Martin. Thanks for clicking the like button, guys. We're almost on 200 likes. If we get another 50 likes, we, we are on 200 likes. That'd be awesome. Really appreciate that. Staying on 100 likes per hour for two streams. Legendary. That's the dream. Well, I'm sorry, Martin. Yeah, this car's quite nice. I highly recommend using this uh, force feedback file I've got. What was it called? R Fucta. <laughs> 4.5. And then yeah, I've got some force feedback settings that help. There's like there's still I would say still lacking in lift off oversteer, but um, this car turns in on the brakes relatively progressively. Does auto been on slow corners, but at higher speed is not. It's, it's all right. Oh, I'm it's the experimental one. Wow, I'm experimenting. I've gone full experimentation. Look at the lighting. Mm. Morning, Charles K. Make a sin that has nothing but lived off oversteer. No, it's just like, it's like what I said when we were playing ACC earlier. Whoops. I... I think, I think this is just driving in general. The best race cars have oversteer from everything if you want it. Steering, brake, accelerator, and coming off the accelerator. You, you want, you... You always want to be able to have oversteer in as many situations as possible. 
so you can always rotate the car. Like the best race cars have the most oversteer that's controllable. So yeah, when, when we were playing ACC, the thing that we were finding with the GT4 car that we were driving is that um, it, ha it handled fine until you get to the, when you're sustained on the limit, it had lift off oversteer, but in terms of uh, you couldn't induce on throttle understeer. Once you're at that, once you're at the limit, which means that it's very, it, it, the car is finding it, but it, me it means that you can't, um, you can't, um, like when it comes to like driving a faster corner, the, the with the nature of how the GT4, the, well the Chevy for example in ACC drives, if you want to go faster, you go faster. Brother, brother, brother. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do not be alarmed. This is a pre-programmed voice calibration. <laughs> L L M. Twelve octillion three hundred forty-five septillion six hundred eighty-eight septillion nine hundred seventy-eight sextillion six hundred fifty-five sextillion. Sounds like one of those number radio number stations. And this is quite. I don't mind this. I don't mind this. It's quite relaxing. Oh man, everyone should have a German accent. Three hundred and twenty. Calibration completed. <laughs> Calibration completed. Thank you for that. Yeah, it's quite nice. Helga can talk to, can number donate to me as much as she wants. What was it saying? Oh yeah, so in ACC with a GT4 car, if you want to go faster, you have to. The way to go faster is. Say I was going to try and take this corner faster in ACC, it would be to try and turn into being a straight line to cut the corner to then drive in a straight line. Like that's how the tire, like the shape of the grip fall off of the tire forces you to drive. Whereas with AC, race room, and like some other tires with other cars you could maybe get as fast a cornering by just being a more aggressive on the gas and using a bit of counter steer or like rotating the car into the corner to then get on the gas sooner you, you basically it forces a certain type of more methodical straight line driving mm. which uh, personally i don't enjoy as much as being able to michael schumacher style drive it So, like, for example, if you have a car that's more rotatey, you could purposefully go into a corner too hot. And when the understeer starts being induced, you could, like, maybe flick it with the wheel a bit, or you could give it a bit more gas, or you could get on the brake hard, and that gets it out of the understeer and rotates it that then allows you to get on the throttle. Whereas with iRacing and ACC, that's just not an option. Like, you can't drive that way because you can't... You'd have to wait for the car to come out of understeer. <laughs> I'm not using a... No, you don't need to use any lot files for AC unless maybe you're using like a Logitech G29 or a T300 or something. That's how you... What do you mean? You, you drive like a like a robot. <laughs> or you drive like what I'm saying, like a Michael Schumacher. See, I... Because I enjoy... I enjoy driving... I think it's more enjoyable to drive in a more reactive, aggressive way, like overdrive and then dial it back down. That's a more fun way to drive. It's more creative for me. Like I'm not saying everyone has to drive like that, but I think that is a... It's a more enjoyable way to drive. Uh, yeah, they both... They're different physics, different handling dasher, but if you want to be really fast in ACC and iRacing, the approach ends up being quite similar. But ACC, unlike iRacing, doesn't bin you and doesn't get stuck over the limit as long as iRacing. So I'd say ACC is a lot better than iRacing. But I'd say because they both have very abrupt 
fall off on the tyres. They encourage, you, you'll get the most out of it if you would drive them in that robotic, somewhat robotic fashion. Like, set, how you set the car up into the corner, preemptively, is more important than how you then deal with the car as you go through the corner. Uh, Poos, yeah, it, it is the fastest way to drive. Uh, that's why Michael Schumacher, Robert Kubica, uh, and Ayrton Senna drove like that. <laughs> because tyres have optimal grip at like it depends on the tyre but it's normally like around about f five or so degree slip angle or something I don't know what it is but it, it but it might not be the fastest way to drive over a longer race and it might not be the fastest way to drive in terms of mechanical wear tyre degradation and in certain conditions but it, you know in, in optimal conditions with a car that's mechanically sound with tyres that will last long enough within a given pit strategy yes it, it is going to be the fastest way to drive a T in capital letters Dave It's the most fun way to drive, so who cares? <laughs> Sideways is best ways. Ah, oh, got on the throttle there, but the tires already a bit flambéed. The key thing is, though, it should be an optional way to drive. I racing, you not you can't drive like that. It's not supported in I racing. Um. ACC is not of any use. Um, I tell you, with this car, you can drive like that. AC, you can drive like that with pretty much all the cars. Race room, you can drive like that with pretty much all the cars. R Factor 2 is, depends on the car. Yeah, I think it, Lewis does that because the other teams can hear what he's saying. And so it puts the other teams on edge in terms of their tyre strategy because Formula 1 is all about bloody tyres and, and tyre wear as opposed to actually driving quickly. <laughs> it's all about strategy because you can't overtake in it properly. And, or if you've got the fastest car, you've got the fastest car, so you just have to run a set of strategy. Hopefully that changes next year. Russell Hustle, stupid fat panda. Stupid fat panda is. We're in eighth place here. We need to get faster. Hello, Tom Weaver. Faster, but transmission, 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 transmission wine made a pay to win lobby. <laughs> What's GT4? What are GT5 cars? Are they slower than GT4? Hello, Fox One. You're new to sim racing, bought a wheel, and wish to dedicate to one of my sims. Um, if you, I don't know, I wouldn't ever dedicate to a single sim because what will happen is you'll just learn that one type of physics and all the sims have different physics and it's better to be in a mindset of understanding the, the different physics. Um, 
Otherwise, you're going to get locked into a sim and you'll think that that one sim is the best sim ever and that's the only sim to go to. And before you know it, you're a eye racer. <laughs> AC1 is the best value for money sim and probably the most realistic all-round handling sim with all its content. You might as well, you might as well get AC1. Well, it was just on sale. You just missed that. But yeah, I wouldn't dedicate to one single sim. I mean, fortunately, despite the differences between race room ACC, um, AC1, they still drive like cars. So you still apply the same general fundamentals. Especially until you get up to speed. Oh yeah, rally. Yeah, rally's the best way to learn how to actually drive. Even if it's a uh, dirt, dirt rally 2, WRC 9. That is by far the best way to understand car handling, yeah. Good point. Point Richard B. Yeah. In fact, that is the best. I mean, that's how I first got into Sims was from Richard Burns Rally, really. And then, and then, um, well, I used to play. I used to play Col Colin McCurry Rally, but not with a wheel and uh, Toker and what have you. But yeah, proper driving. Richard Burns Rally was the first driving game I played with a steering wheel, and I was like, oh, I get it. Now I like, I'm into cars. <laughs> that was it. France won on Richard Burns Rally. Spent like six hours one day just driving that over and over again. It'll rain. You might as well go in hardcore. Marcus Prado, yeah, just, you just have to click subscribe, click the like button. Um, sacrifice a, a goat, find a, find a, a firstborn virgin, and uh, yeah, then you can join. Just a password's T, just join us. Uh, the server might be full, actually. I know. No, you should be able to get in. I hope this doesn't crash this time. Uh, Matthias Gustenberg, you can make a living out of R Factor 2. Um, out of. Out of bunch of sims if, if that if as an esports player to be honest if you were trying to be like a if you were like right how do i make the most money or i want to be an esports player you, you bloody do f1 2020 f1 2021 because he's got the most players not not i racing and the reason why the reason why the the real world like pro drivers that play i racing are playing it because of the online competition component and the laser scan tracks not necessarily because it's the most realistic handling or the best for esports i'm not saying i race is bad for esports it's got some nice features in it thank you marcus prado for subscribing Do you think it will go to the next session, or will we get stuck? Fingers crossed here, this Silverstone race is happening. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, the continue button's not working. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Oh, my God. Maybe we've got to wait till this that thing auto advances. What on earth is going on here? Oh, oh, that worked. Right, here we go.
Audrey did a sim racing thing with McLaren Simulator. They had AC as their software. Yeah, I mean, I, I know, I know multiple real world drivers. Like, so the reality with pr actual professional full time drivers, a lot of it is like, what specific car are they driving in real life, and which sim has that car, and, and can they sometimes get a modder to make it a little bit more dialed into their car that they're driving in real life? And does the does the sim happen to have the tracks that they drive that they're driving in their series? <laughs> that's like the biggest thing really like so i know a, a few real world drivers where they've that they'll play r factor 2 because they've got it's got their car in it or they've got a mod team that's made their car and they can get the tracks or they use ac for the, exactly the same reasons you know that, that's the big the biggest thing is like the modding part of r factor 2 and ac it allows someone to because you could have a, a sim could have your car in it, but it might not actually drive like your car. So when you've got mods in R Factor 2 and AC, it means that a real world driver can be drive their car in real life and go, oh, hang on, my actual car drives like this. I'm going to tweak the car in the sim to actually be like my real world car. Then it's going to actually help. It's going to line up better because what they're trying to do is literal one to one actual simulation as a tool to actually simulate their car. Whereas what we're doing with driving sims is we're, we're playing video games that have detailed cars in it so it doesn't need to line up to one specific real world car here we go what are you doing <laughs> what's that guy doing please don't do that alright we're off <laughs> GT5 car getting swamped. Oh, he's been punted off. Goodbye. Big brain moment. He's gone all in. Jesus, we got stuck in locked over steer there. That was weird. That was very strange. Car got stuck in there. Uh, the tyres got stuck locked up even though I come off the brake. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Hello, boosted. Always oh, a normal time for you. I hope uh, you've not been bitten by any spiders. Well, yeah. Oh no, we're not going to get Aero Boy territory, are we? What's this car in front? What is he in? Oh, he's he auto binned himself. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> Almost got us. Oof. Oh, a grass line.
Yeah, these are my these are my racing goggles. They help me go faster. Go faster goggles. I don't know, Gretz. Uh, until until st <laughs> it depends when Steam servers nets go down or the game crashes, I guess. Catch up with his bloody Duffy. I need to get the uh, real time Delta thing on the screen. That's my HUD items. Is he in an Audi or Porsche? Thank you for subscribing. Anyway, Will, how's it going, man? Sorry, I was ignoring you. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit tired, <laughs> and I'm also having to concentrate trying to catch this guy. So he's in a Porsche, isn't it? It's just the colour of it makes it look different. Stuck in over the limit there. Porsche red, can you? Surely that's illegal. It's super late. It's my second live stream today. Oh, guys, we're 20 likes off. We got five minutes. 20 likes off, 100 likes per hour for two hours. All you have to do is click the like button and uh, you'll, you'll be endowed with beautiful women. Mm. I closed a gap on this bloody guy. <laughs> Thank you, Sammy, for subscribing. Oh, I can't mind all those ramshackling us there. Oh, no. What on earth? Why does it do that? Oh, come on. That was like... Why is it auto-binning? It's slow corners. It gets stuck in the... <laughs> <laughs> Race room auto bin. The solution in race room is to always apply a little bit of throttle. The car just like rotates on its central on the centre. That's it. That's a like a G motor classic. R Factor Two does it as well. No, you've got, to, you've got to leave the throttle on. It's from when you... T basically, you turn, and that pushes the tyres over the limit. But it's gone. It's gone. Like, you can't do anything with it. You're literally... Mm -hmm. a, you're a passenger. <laughs> To avoid it in race room, the, the developers put that engine braking thing on it, where it basically applies a little bit of throttle all the time. Turning sharp is stomp on the throttle. Being sarcastic. Thank you, Joe, for subscribing. Welcome along. Maybe, uh. I don't know. I 
Oh, did we hit 200? There we go. Yeah, we stayed at 100 likes per hour. Thank you, guys. <laughs> What's going on with the guy in front? It's shaking. Oh, hello. There you go. I'll help you back round. Friendly chat pile. Our sarcasm. Because uh, it's not it's not occurring from being on the gas apex hit. It's it's just to do with the rear going over the limit when you're not rolling forwards. The, the, because you're not moving forwards, the rolling forwards doesn't allow the tires to come out of the slide and they get stuck in like a locked state. faster you go the less of a problem it is and then also once you've got downforce it doesn't happen whoa sixth place no ninth place nice driving now where should we go to next Gabriel Kuto, thank you for subscribing. Well, Silverstone is mostly a fast track, Apex. The type of corners that cause that spin, um, let me think. The uh, down the hill on the Nordschleifer, just before you before the hotel when you go down and then left. That causes it. Um, Hungaro ring, I think the the left hand, like downhill, downhill constant low speed corners, <laughs> where the rears on load, they go, tend to cause it. Um, what other corners do it? Oh, well, huge ass! You need to you need to learn how to bunny hop over the wreckers. Right, let's go to another another track here. Nice driving there. Well done, SRS thirteen Rastus, Duffy, Tom Tron, Omich, Daniel Nito, Matthew Harvey. Oh, I got seventh apparently. <laughs> Blow him, huge ass! You're idiots. Well done. Um, Let's do an Imola race, that'd be good. Imola with a bus stop is terrible. I don't know if I'll try this and then it might be terrible. <laughs> the Porsche seemed okay. I don't know if this will just plow. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Thanks, just posted. Well, if Random Course I liked it, it'll probably be terrible. <laughs> but I'll try it. He's got awful taste in cars. He's got Random Course I's got the worst taste. <laughs> Poor guy. Well, if you handled like a bar of slope, well, it doesn't matter. Like, a rotated bar of slope's good. All right, Joshua, thanks for watching, man. Take a part. I think if more of the cars handle like the Porsche and the um, Janetta G40, then yeah, people people will like it. Oh, we've got a bit of fog going on here. Hang on, we're manually driving out of this pit. Well, why were we not manually driving out of the other one? I don't know what's going on here. Just a keyboard and a mouse. Well, no, it's probably not ideal with a keyboard, to be honest. You really want either a gamepad or a steering wheel. Ideally, you want a steering wheel with force feedback. TV screen. This really reminds me of Project Cars 2, you know. A bit like a bit Project Cars 3 easy actually. This car's a bit weird on the brake. It's all right. Uh, I never streamed Project Cars 3, no. I did play it a fair bit, actually, though, because I, I had access to the uh, beta. This car's got weird handling. This feels a bit this feels more like the GTE cars in Project Cars 2. That's not I quite like Project Cars 2 in many ways. It's just got a very specific there's a very specific feel to it. Oh, this is drivable though. I think they just, they, they've, they've got quite a bit to do for the rear diff, I think, in general. I think it has improved. Uh, well, it's still, you know, I don't know. What do you, what do you mean by an actual sim? I mean, racing the cars don't 
in my opinion, don't drive like real cars in that. And people call iRacing a sim. <laughs> so, depends what you mean by sim. For me, as long as you've got like a predictable sort of envelope that gives you control, that's, uh, you know, that's that makes a good racing game. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Traffic jam. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I just killed him. Sorry. I think we uh, lagged him as well. BMW in comfort mode. Just hum along. I'm not really sure. I'm not really getting this, holding this car on the limit. Yeah, we're going to have electric race cars, aren't we? shackled that the the Ferrari in ACC drives like a brick so it doesn't turn I'd say this is this is much more like the GTE cars that were in Project Cars 2. Very steery from the steering wheel as opposed to the pedals. Yeah, the force feedback in this is way better than ACC in terms of letting you feel what's going on. If ACC had this force feedback, it'd be fantastic. <laughs> Hello, SDS Racing. Well, you're lucky that... As much as AMS2 fanboys piss me off, I just ignore them and do what I feel like doing. Ah, oh, bollocks. Bounced over that. <laughs> Oh, hello, Matthew Harvey. Retro VR goggles, yeah, they're, they're 1960s uh, racing goggles. Whoa. Thanks for subscribing, welcome. Mr. Strings. Uh, I I would be more of a project, uh, of, of an R Factor 2 fanboy. I need to shut my window, I'm getting attacked by flies. <laughs> I would be... A I would play a lot more R Factor 2 on the channel if the user interface on that game was not awful. It's such a chore to load up and then also to try and get people into it. <sighs> oh my god. Hang on, I've got to just get some fly spray.
Ooh. Hello. It's better. <laughs> I, left my, I have my window open because it's so warm. And you got those, you know, those tiny, tiny little flies, like fruit flies and stuff, just flying around all over the lights. Right, what was I going to do to this car? Oh, yeah, I just changed the diff and stuff, but... Tom Tron just set the fastest lap. Well done. Uh, the VR in this is really good. Oh yeah, I need to bind a look back button. Go. So guys, type in chat where you're all from. I guess we should probably have a lot of, lot of Aussies in here. Imola in the flight sim? No, I don't think so. London, USA. Oh. <laughs> it goes from like this little gradual over to here to super drift slide. I swear this di it's as if the diff is like spontaneously locking. <laughs> it's weird. Up road, up to road, up to river. Now you don't have to be careful on the throttle. You could absolutely smash the throttle in this. Oh yeah, I need to put the display for the real time. Don't know where that is. Ah, oh, that's that's my best lap so far. What? <laughs> yeah, the the brakes fucked on this car. <laughs> Don't know what's that. What that's about.
It's weird. The, the Porsche is much better. Shame it's not in Sweden. Yeah, uh, Imola's got a really big curb in, I think. Oh, no, Mr. Strings. Why, why would you uh, listen to Boosted Media? <laughs> the real question is, whose affiliate link did you use? Did you use the Australian or the Brits? And I'm going to, if you, you know, you're, which, which other one you picked, you're racist for picking the wrong one. Ah, <laughs> oh, we didn't support anyone. You're not racist, though, so I guess that's all right. <laughs> Fair enough. That's how it is. Oh no, welcome to the terrible world of sim racing. Hey, maybe the... Uh, oh, hang on, we've got to wait until it continues a bit. Maybe the uh, NVIDIA drivers have fixed the crashing. That'd be nice. Here we go. Race number two. Nato 9. How's it going? Uh, it's already messed up, counter debate. Oh, these bloody flies. Neurotoxin to death. Someone's not ready up. Tom Tron, Daniel Nito, two last Jedi. These people have not clicked ready. Well, it's fly spray is, uh, there we go. It's uh, like a neurotoxin that stops them from being, flies from being able to breathe and causes all their muscles to seize up. <laughs> it's a good way of dealing with tiny little fruit flies. Yeah, well. Go! Of the Porsche people. Oh, you absolute knobhead. Come on. Bloody hell. Who was that? I am going to cut your testes off with a blunt fork. Who on earth was that? Who was it? <laughs> Bloody people not using brake pedals. I. It's not hard. If you're a shit driver, push the brake pedal before the start of the race. I want you to... What are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> oh, my God. You're a ditties. You idiot. You ruined the race. <laughs> Christ. God damn. Right. Bloody hell. There's no restart option. Sodding Project Cars 2 players. 
What am I drifting? This car's a shopping trolley. What on earth? What on earth? Like, <laughs> it's cause effed. We get stuck in the slide there. The tires are green on my screen. You just change the display options. I, I need to adjust it. You you go to the you edit the thing and then uh, I'll show you in a minute after this race. back up here. rockets on this car ah! hang on DD guild time guys <laughs> it's at low speed. It's just the 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 Porsche was doing that as well. It just goes mental. Strong. There she goes again. 
Mysterious, magical, needy lady She's disappeared To hide away in a cupboard And play driving simulator games Oh for f cock me ass! What is wrong with this? <laughs> Thank you for coming to the channel But this car's absolutely f***ed up this is a good, it's an example of a corner that breaks shitty sim cars. You see what's happening with it? It just rotates. Like, you're at the limit at low speed and you're turning quite a lot because it's a tight corner. And then it just <laughs> spins on the spot. It's ridiculous. The Porsche doesn't do that. Well, it does, but not nowhere near as badly. Maybe putting shit loads of traction control on it. But then again, it's doing it not even on the throttle. Well, weird. I'm using a Fanatec DD. <laughs> Steering's not sensitive. It's fine. This car's just effed. The Porsche's not too bad. The Janetta G40's okay. Sensitive steering allows you to catch the back quicker. Like, yeah, if you turn in too much, you're going to then throw the back out, but you're not going to... I find with more sensitive steering, I'm more precise because I, I'm only going to move the wheel as much as I need to move it I'll try the BMW next What it is, is the car gets stuck over the limit. We need to ch change the uh, the HUD. Uh, like trying to break it into the corner, nothing happens, and all of a sudden it goes. Well, the the Porsche RSR GTE drives way more like race cars in other simulators, way, way, way more. So does the uh, Janetta G40. I'll try the BMW. Well done, uh, Tom Tron, Hugh Jass, Matthew Harvey, Mike T. <laughs> His guy's sunk. Oh, no. <laughs> it's quicksand. Don't park your Porsche in the quicksand, you idiot. Never going to get it out now. Okay, donk. It's on you, donk. Oh, yeah, who took me out at the start? And Eurydice. You idiot. <laughs> I never crash people. Not once have I ever crashed anyone. Right. Nice looking car. Yeah, who wrecked us at the very start? Oh, we could try brands out. Actually, it could be fun.
Ah, oh, Hockenheim ring. Here we go. This this has that. This is the one with the. Uh... Oh no, no, it's not. What's the? Has this got Hungara ring in it? Has it? Has it? No. You have to increase the brake engine. Oh, I was saying that. That's the solution in race room. If if the cars are just auto binning, getting stuck in that oversteer, you you increase the, the race room thing. I think the race room engine brake thing is a bit of a hack though. What it does, it it, it keeps applying throttle. Get in there, guys. Search for Gamer Muscle Password T. All right, huge ass. Thanks for joining us, man. No, I'm using the uh, podium. It's a lot stronger. Ben Hebelson has the uh, fast lap time there. Okay. Let's just go with the default and see what it's like. Oh, no, hang on. Options. Yeah, who was it asking in chat? So what you want to do is you want to put the uh, real time, relative times on. And you want to set it to full. And uh, the leaderboard, full. I'm going to move these up so you guys can see it. And I'll move this here so you guys can see it. Oh no. <laughs> That's a. Antoine Jacket Potato, is he in here? Is that Antoine Jacket Potato? Ah, oh, no, it's Antoine. It's another one. Well, fair enough. <laughs> it's not French Antoine, is it? It's another one. Which is, which is fine. <laughs> right, so I've done that. Now. Hello. There you go. So now you can see all the stuff on the screen. I need to buy my headlight. Look at that. It looks really good at night. Yeah. 
There we go. Thank you for subscribing, Iron or Tanu. Welcome along. Thank you, man. Yeah, the lighting in this is great. Oh, the brakes don't work. Uh. delayed it's like this delayed oversteer from the brake pedal <laughs> this handles a lot better than the uh, Corvette that Corvette was complete shit <laughs> oh Thank you for subscribing, River City Sim. Ah, oh, okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Cogleds on the bold patch. Oh, look at the sun. This looks fantastic. Like, it's really smooth as well. It's a little bit of aliasing. the way, Mitch! <laughs> iRacing digital... Uh, Mr. Strings, so what, what you're talking about is laser scanned. Um, what, what that means is they go out to race tracks and they use um, lasers uh, like LiDAR. Different, there's different ways of doing it. But basically, you, you scan the track and get uh, build a point cloud from it. And then what happens is the, the people that make the track for the video game take that point cloud, they put it into a 3D modeling package, and then they build the racetrack mm. around that point cloud. So the end result is, is that the actual, the camber, the height, the bumps and stuff are all accurate, assuming the developer built, like, puts the details in when they build it. It's all accurate to within like a few centimeters. Um, all the tracks that come with ACC and laser scanned, all the all the tracks that are in uh, the original Assetto Corsa by Kunos are laser scanned. Um, this has like the UK tracks, I think, are laser scanned. A bunch of them are laser scanned using laser scan data. Quite a lot of sims have it. But the thing to remember is just because it's laser scanned or built built, built off that data um, doesn't necessarily mean it's like absolutely perfect. And you can have tracks that aren't laser scanned that are of a detail level that's still like more than, like is literally the same as the real world track still so yeah it's great though it's fantastic as a technology to make sure that the um, track is accurate thing is the, uh, the 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 fidelity of sim racing tracks now is so good laser scanned or not that it's not really a problem anymore. That there was a period in time where you'd just have race tracks that weren't very high quality, and so you miss out on the bumps and stuff. And the, the bump, the subtle bumps on a race track affect the handling of the cars quite a bit. Uh, in terms of how they get set up into a corner, in terms of what you feel through force feedback, in, in, and more the, the laser scan tracks or just a high detailed track actually makes the cars more agile because the suspension is always like doing stuff. The, the cars are more willing to like jump around and move into corners whereas if you have a totally flat track it actually kind of makes cars more placid but yeah all, pretty much all the sims now even laser scan or not have very high detailed tracks so it, it was a big thing like when i racing first did laser scan tracks so there was a there was some laser scan tracks for r factor 2 it was a huge thing back then but now it's kind of the laser scan component is not the biggest component the more important component is how talented the art team are using that data and the graphics engine and things. 
So, there you go. That's the latest kind of story. Hope you enjoyed it. And more, more stories from Uncle Muscle. Stories that will make women hate you. Oh, see, it's doing that. It, what it is, is it's locked. It's like the brakes just snag. <laughs> they don't lock. It's like you push the brake. Right, I'm pushing the brake at an amount, at a certain fixed amount, and then it snags. But the point of where it snags is like arbitrary. <laughs> That's is very Project Cars 2 Z, that mechanic. In most other sims, the rear starts to, if you move the brake bars really far back, the rear starts to go more gradually rather than being like, fine, 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 snap oversteer. I think it's a, it's a lack of, hey, it's got done it again. It's a lack of progression into that snap oversteer. So again, I think it's to do with the, as I'll keep going on about, I think the rear diff simulation is what causes it. Because it doesn't do it on the throttle at all. It's very, very progressive on the throttle. And look look at this, it's like, I mean, you do have traction control on the throttle, so maybe that irons it out, but. It's, it's exactly what Project Cars 2 would do. I know, I just sound like I'm obsessed with saying, oh, the rear diff, rear diff, rear diff. The reason why I keep saying it is because there's shitloads of Project Cars 2 fanboys that are like, no, it's just how you drive. But I'm, I'm, it, everything else is really great with this. Oh, it seems pretty, you know, it seems fine. Like, the force feedback's fantastic. General handling seems fine. It's that, it, it's like, it's almost to go, well, what, what part of the handling? <laughs> We're like, the rear diff. <laughs> There's a problem with the rear diff. Hence why the Janetta G40 doesn't have that problem. I don't know why the Porsche's a lot better, though. That, the Porsche doesn't seem to have this problem. Uh, yeah, it's got way better force feedback than ACC. The ability to host games quickly and a range of different cars. We're getting a good lap in here, though. I always found um, Madness Engine plays really, really nicely if you've got a motion rig. The, the force feedback in ACC is a design choice. They want the force feedback to feel like a real car steering wheel, as opposed to letting you feel what the car's doing. No, you don't, you can't feel, no, the motion rig wouldn't help for that. This drives much more like the, uh, this has a very Project Cars 2 GTE feel to it as well. This is a lot better than the, um, uh, the, the Chevy though. Basically what you have to do to avoid getting into that uh, slide 
you have to be at least i mean you can come off the brake you have to be just hyper hyper sensitive to the brakes locking up at low speed uh dead man trigger not not particularly i mean because i'm i've got a uh, i'm using like um what are they called uh tactile transducers so when the back's getting loose my bum is shaking and when, my, when the front understeers my pedals are shaking though i could do a turn it up a bit See what's happening there is you go over a crest and that's the wheels lighting up and then that's what causes it to lock up more easily. It's a little bit delayed I think. So you know what though? The fix for that in um, race room, slightly different the issue in race room, but the fix for it is to have a throttle applied all the time. Um, we say call engine braking. Uh, from what I understand, the way engine braking works in real cars, I don't know if it's the ECU applying throttle or if it's using like cl the clutch to like um, reduce engine braking. I'm not quite sure how it works in real cars. Oh, we're going to the next session here. Uh, I find I've I've used traction loss rigs. I find them too slow. They're not they're not reactive enough they might be they're quite good for oval racing though because you're you're only ever doing like prolonged slides in one direction engine braking reduction here we go The ECU opens the throttle slightly to reduce the amount of engine braking. Yes, yeah, that's how it works in Project Cars 2. Lowest values result in greater braking torque from the engine when off throttle. See, the thing is, we want engine braking for turning. <laughs> it's like we want what you want what we want is the lowest number value for high speed so you get lift off oversteer because there's no there's like no lift off oversteer in this game but then you also want a high value for low speed to try and negate the auto pin <laughs> the diff is it's is, is broken it doesn't work properly that's the only thing that's the only thing i can think of See if that stops it spinning. Go! Did he jump the start or did he just get a really good <laughs> launch? He's gone. Are oh, you absolute idiots? Come on, guys. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> Who is doing that? I'm going to literally... I'm going to bludgeon you to death with a damp cloth. Jesus Christ. Use your brake pedal. 
someone's doing it every single race. Not even close. They're not even close. <laughs> not even close to breaking. I can't even sudden avoid them. I'm going to find out who it is and you're banned. <laughs> you're banned from every single race we ever do. Bloody hell. It's worse in AMS too because I have high force feedback and when you get hit it bloody shatters your wrists. Oh crap, he just... Don't break on that corner man, it's a follow through. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I mean we qualified all, all right there is you've got rammed and then we get stopped by people that are using their brakes at random times oh, maybe, maybe you did fair enough People haven't played AMS2 that much. Oh no, no Tiama, incorrect answer. Hello E Howell. <laughs> How's it going? I'm being punished. Whoa! I think that engine braking setting is might be stopping it from doing the auto bin there, same as it does in race room. Oh. And you don't get the lift off oversteer through corners, but you don't get that anyway, so... Why would they not set it higher by default or lower, whatever way around it is? Because if you're someone just coming into this, you don't have much time, that one setting is just going to spin you repeatedly. <laughs> oh, look, the sky looks well good. It does, it does look fantastic. Yeah, I never understood that not having default set. Like, so whenever you talk about the default setting thing with developers, you say, oh, like, all sims should have default settings. And then people are going, well, but you can't because people have different driving styles, which is a load of shite. <laughs> people do have different driving styles. But the type of people that are jumping in a sim and just want a setup that doesn't drive like shit, their driving style doesn't even matter for those people. You just need to give them a baseline setup. So exactly like the specifically what uh, Kunos have done with ACC, the aggressive and the safe. The safe setup is mostly understeery, really good for game pads, and really good for people that have literally no car control because the car will understeer like a front wheel drive car instead of oversteer and an aggressive preset which is basically like a neutrally balanced car that is probably within if driven as best possible it's probably within a second of lap uh, of like the, the, the what someone would get with a specifically tuned setup so basically what you would have is the setup would have um, the right gearing for the track the, so the right gear ratio um, the, the 
the car will be as slippy as possible, but without it being absolutely like slippy as possible without going crazy. You know. Um, yeah, so and the thing people are going, well, no, but how can the developer have enough time to, to know what to do? It's like the developers have a forum and they have fanboys and some of those fanboys will also be very quick drivers that are good at sim racing. So all you do, each time you have an update, you ask them, oh, can you just make a make a setup for this thing? Done. And you just stick that in. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's what Race Room have done. Race Room just have a fast driver that's produced a default setup that's passable. Done. <laughs> and it, you can... You can drive on the race room ranked racing service with a default setup and have a good race. Like you might not win, but you'd probably be in the top five with it. Or or you could be like do what GTR Evolution had set up sharing in the game and with a star rating. Yeah, this engine the end that engine braking setting is stopping the auto bin. Entirely because the the um, the wheels are, are still rotating; they're not just stopping. I don't know. It depends on how or what time I get up. Well, that's it. But well, we need to do another race with this car with the quality with that with that setting. Why not? Why would that not be on by default? Like the car without that setting. By default, this car is effed. <laughs> With it on, it's actually it's fine. Oh, yeah, it's drivable either way. Can you nick it in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the time trial setups, the hot lap setups are normally totally crazy. Yeah, you've got to leverage the fanboys. Yeah, exactly. I, I say I agree with Donk. <laughs> well done, SR thirteen Rastus, Seabird Dog, Antoine, O Mitch, Captain Giants. Good driving, guys. Whoever rammed me, you admit it in chat and apologise. <laughs> I'm gonna get rammed again. Right. I'm gonna do. We'll do like a British track. Repent. We'll stay. I'm gonna keep with the BMW. Should we do Alton Parks? We were doing that in AC, so that'll be an interesting comparison. No, Alton Park with a GT car is going to be annoying because it's so narrow. Okay, it'll be an interesting comparison. Let's go for it. Fork Park. Oh, man. Anybody want to join in? The service called Game of Muscle. Pass Game of Muscle Steam. Password is T. Um, the engine braking, so it always applies a bit of uh, engine, even at lower speed, which negates the um, engine from slowing the car down. To be honest, you would have thought the weight of the car and the fact that you're in, like, second gear and the way the differential works would not would mean that you wouldn't need to be that aggressive with an engine braking setting in terms of negating the engine braking <laughs> hello brian bedonde this um i'm gonna try it on a hang on is lower values more slip yeah so that's weaker traction control we had it on five, I think. Yeah, it's all over the place. <laughs> it's when you've got like ratios, angles, 
It's like with the diff plates, the the higher Ah my foot's trapped in my sim rig. The more with with the diff clutch plate, the higher the angle, the low the less pressure it's putting on it. So the higher that number, the weaker the diff is. <laughs> the lower the angle, the stronger the diff is. I mean, the force feedback in this absolutely destroys ACC. So much better, the force feedback in this. Bloody hell. So depressing, that. Oh, Christ almighty. A bit more oversteer, would be nice. Let's bring the brake bars back a bit. Yeah, I think, we, I think that solves the auto bin, Richard B. No, oh, I'm using the Fanatec Podium. Yeah, like that's exactly like. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't think I've been harsh of it. I'm just pointing out. I just, I just say the things that are sticking points with it. If it was complete shit all over, same with any sim. It's like with ACC. If ACC was absolute garbage, I wouldn't care that the force feedback was uninformative because it's like, well, don't matter. No one's going to play it. But ACC is a really nice package. Yeah, that that uh, engine brake setting is stopping it from it's stopping it from locking up on the brakes as well. Bait in the water. <laughs> What I find funny is the fanboys get really confused when I still play stuff, or like I still and I say I do I say something complimentary. They're like, "Oh, I don't understand." He he, but he said something was bad, but now he's saying something's good. Oh, he's still playing it. Ah! <laughs> they're like, "Ah! Oh no!" But we thought he was a hater. I find it funny, how, I, like I said earlier, being accused of being an, a, a Reza AMS2 shell. Same thing happened with Microsoft Flight Sim. I get accused of being a, a shell of that. Or, or like that Orbex. Do you remember the Orbex thing? Bloody hell, that was worse than the AMS2 fanboys. Orbex, who do, they do like terrain add ons for Microsoft Flight Sim. And they did a, an add on for London, which was like, I think it was like 15 quid or something. And basically, it added in landmarks to London, like the City of London, London Bridge, stuff. And it, you know, it, they weren't like the highest of quality models, but in an aeroplane, at aeroplane height, it made London look like London. And until the UK update came out for Microsoft Flight Sim, London did not look like London. If you lived near London and had been there a few times, it just didn't from from the air or even like whatever. It just didn't look like London. This Orbex add-on. Sure, it was stuff that the content they'd already done for other flight sims. It looked great. <laughs> so I do a video on it going, oh, this add-on's available. And all these people are like, oh, how much do Orbex pay you, Orbex shill? <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ. The weird thing with flight sims is you don't even have to buy the content. Like... A YouTuber goes, oh, this is a good mod or good add-on. It's single player, so it doesn't even it doesn't even matter. <laughs> like with a driving sim, you have to you know, you've got to buy the game to be able to play it. It's multiplayer, so there's specific things there. It's, you know, like um with equipment and stuff for driving sims. Uh, I, I get free access to Orbex, Orbex content, <laughs> but they haven't paid me any money. I got a slap by the flight sim community. 
Look, these goggles are amazing. A guy that works for that worked for um, CrowdStrike. Uh, he worked with the PR stuff for the McLaren Formula One team. He said, "I got these from them." <laughs> How awesome is that? Apparently, they're like hundred pounds as well. Didn't know. I thought I, I thought they were just like. I didn't think they were like crappy cheap things, but I, d I didn't realise they were anything over thirty pounds. In my mind, is a lot of money. <laughs> oh yeah, who, who was talking about the force feedback in in race in in AMS two? Do you still have AMS two? I'll give you my force feedback settings. Raid Shadow Legends money. They actually offered to sponsor stuff, but the, the Raid Shadow Legends is shit, so I'm not going to... I don't want their money. Yeah, we're not getting auto bins now. I don't really have morals. It's just—it's not really morals. It's just I do what I what I would want to do. If I, you know, I, I don't think it's particularly morals. <laughs> also, in the long run, it's it's gonna be it'd be better for me not to promote stuff that's shit. I don't think it really is integrity because it, it's not like it, it's still in my own interest. Like it wouldn't be in my best interest to to. Let's say Fanatec released a product that was complete crap. It wouldn't be even like, even though obviously got a Fanatec affiliate link, use it when buying Fanatec stuff. It wouldn't be in my interest to promote something or, or tell people or lie for the sake of getting to use a, a, an affiliate link, because people would buy it and then they'd be like, "Oh, this is shit." I'm not trusting what this guy's. No, I'm not that anyone trusts what I say anyway. Oh, I should just promote stuff that's crap. <laughs> but you know what I mean. I'm not doing that out of ethics. I'm just I'm doing it out of my own. Uh... <laughs> Why you wouldn't take my bike? Ah! Oh, gee, bugging me ass. Right. Well, there you go, guys. If you if you're getting the annoying snap on the braking, it still snaps. But as long as you have the engine braking setting turned up, engine brake reduction turned up, it stops the wheels from getting stuck. So what I think it is, what I think the problem is, again, back on the theme of rear diff, with the engine braking low. What I think is happening is when you're turning and when you're braking hard, the wheels lock and then because there's something effed with the rear diff, they stay locked and or one wheel doesn't go independent and that causes the car to get into like as if it's a locked diff. Whereas if you've got the engine braking turned on, or on higher, so it's basically always applying throttle, it means that when it locks, it then you come off the brake, it immediately unlocks because the wheels are more free to move. Now, there's still, I still haven't managed to get more lift off oversteer, but these cars turn in on the brake pretty much straight away, so it's not that much of a problem. Like, you can just drive using the brake pedal more. What do you mean, zero cents made? I'm trying to make sense of why the why it gets stuck in a locked when it does lock why it gets stuck locked <laughs> and why the engine braking negates that entirely You do racing video games and stream it. Yeah, it's not quite that simple though. I, I I do have to edit videos and review stuff and I have to make terrible jokes. 
and I do spend a lot of time doing this. I mean, I'm not, it is great, I'm not complaining, but it's not quite as simple as just playing. It's like if you're a game developer, you're not playing games, you spend most of your time troubleshooting stupid bugs. Reduce the engine, no, if you reduce the engine braking to one, the car, when you're, when you're braking as hard as possible on the limit, it locks up and the car just rotates. Also, raising the nose of the car will cause, uh, that will reduce the amount of lift off oversteer if there was any. That's doing the opposite of what you should do to get lift off oversteer and stop doing crazy stuff. All I care, I don't care what the reason is. The point is, if you put the engine, if you turn the engine braking up on this car, it stops it from snap, snap oversteering and the, and the wheels locking and snagging into oversteer. I don't care if that's why the right or wrong reason. If, as long as you can put a value in, sorted. I don't care. <laughs> what works, works. That's all that matters. Oh, yes, force feedback sense. For the guy that was wondering, like you were saying, you'd prefer ACC force feedback, you need to get this and use the R Fuchter 4.4, 4.5 force feedback file custom force feedback and then in the game um, on the force feedback settings uh, something like this that worked well for me Uh, Lucky Wolfin it's a GTE car you can absolutely ravage the gears in a GTE car and it's fine. No, the I used I changed the engine braking before Lupus Aries, and also the engine. The reason we were changing the engine braking before was reducing it to try and cause lift off oversteer. You can't in this Lucky Wolfing, but in in other car in other Sims you can. The the engine braking we were using it before was to try and get more lift off oversteer but it doesn't it doesn't call it doesn't fix the lift off oversteer stuff no i i realize you can't lucky wolfing but <sighs> gt cars or most cars have some kind of shift protection on them and and i'm not downshifting that quick i'm not downshifting it like a bloody formula one car but yeah sh sure if you if you If you downshift too quickly, you will lose the back of the car because the, the rear will go crazy. <laughs> All right, Brent Owen. Yeah, I, if anything, my driving, I don't, I don't downshift quick enough a lot of the time. Like even when I'm in Formula One cars, I don't downshift properly. That and a lot of modern cars have like um, shift protection on them. Anyway, the point is, no matter the, that the engine setting of having it on a higher setting stops the rears from locking up. So. <laughs> That's that's pre I don't give a shit what the reason is for, or <laughs> it's like if it works, it works. <laughs> it's all that matters. <laughs> this is what I've learned with Sims. Xbox S. What's the Xbox SS? Hitting Stellas from the fridge. Yeah, ACC is all right. You know, good value for money. Sim, nice package. I'm just not a fan of the full speed back. But it's great. You can have a lot of fun with it. I've, I've got like two, three hundred hours, four hundred hours in ACC. You can. We, we were playing it earlier for like four hours. We we had like 40, 50 cars going around Alton Park and whatever. It's good fun. Admit you were template for the crew chief sweary mode. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh dear. I don't swear in real life. It's only live streaming. You guys don't realize how mentally it makes you go. If you live stream for like six to seven hours, hello Daniel Merchant, and you have people typing stuff in chat that is completely unrelated or they've just ignored everything you've just said, and then you explain something, and then two minutes later, someone <laughs> just says exactly ignore it and like, it just drives you a bit, a little bit mental because in no real world convers, like, well, first of all, most live streamers don't actually try and talk to their chat properly. They just, you know, they're just commentating on what they're doing in the game and then they'll say something random, which is a lot, e like, it's better because it stops you going mental. Um, but yeah, it, it's like, imagine if you're trying to get tech support from a game chat room. <laughs> yeah that is true ross i know well that's the other thing it's hard for me i'm dyslexic as well so it's very hard although my reading is really good it's difficult to follow multiple conversations <laughs> people need to at at the other username because that's easy for me to see also i'm driving at the same bloody time I didn't, Bill. You misheard it. No, this is strawberries. I, I like to eat loads of strawberries. I'm all right, yeah. Sometimes we're just doing a lot of drugs and think we're all webcam girls. <laughs> Chair muscle makes you measured. Yeah, no, it's weird. Like, I, I don't, I don't swear at all in real life. I'm like really laid back. I mean, to be honest, I think I'm pretty laid back here live streaming. <laughs> right. I tell you what, I'm not laid back about. If you don't push your brake pedal at the start of this, I'm going to drive my car up your ass. <laughs> and I don't mean in the game. And I'm not going to use any lubricant. So use your sodding brake pedals at the start. Uh, Jay, Jay Jones, update your NVIDIA drivers. I think that helps. What a launch! You dare it, me. You ass. Who was that? Matthew Harvey. I even moved out of the way and he still managed to hit me. Oh, why is the whoa, 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 whoa. Total lock up there. I'll do another race just for you, Tech Wiz Master. Struggling to get the car to turn in here. This is a huge error. Loading in. We're going. 
There must be a file we can, we need to edit a file to make that instant because that makes me motion sick when I look left and right. There must be an option for look left and right speed. Daniel Merchant, I think because a lot of the cars have very bad handling in this and uh, until recently you had to have the DLC to be able to join servers and also they released it at a high price so that's why Also, it had a lot of uh, content that's like very Brazilian. Which is not particularly appealing to people outside of Brazil that don't know any of the content. <laughs> yeah, with iRacing though, you're paying for the... You're paying for the membership, uh, the, the, the rank racing really. It's not with race room. I, I would get annoyed by the race room pricing, but the ranked servers are so fun. I, I wouldn't mind buying the content. I mean, admittedly, I do have a press account for race room, so I haven't had to buy anything um, for race room. But um, I did buy it originally. I, I, did, I think I spent about £35 on it. What's good with this though is for like like how I used to play Project Cars 2 is if you want to do quick hosted races. Well, race room has better net code, but I, I racing is more active. It depends if you're in Australia. Like if you're playing at this time of day, race room's empty. <laughs> I'm not spinning because I've turned the engine braking up, which uh, uh, I mean, turn, well, effectively turn the engine braking down, which applies throttle, which keeps the rears from locking up. It seems to negate the auto bin problem. Like, you see there, we're getting the slide, but it's pulling the rears out. Which kind of makes sense because the, thro the on throttle control of the car in this is really better than the braking control of the car. Look at me, Diff. You had to validate the game files. I, I didn't need to. I just I, all I had to do was um, get the new drivers seem to make it run better. If I had only one sim, I, it obviously it would be a set of Corsa because of mods and the amount of stuff on it. Hello, TechWiz. A bit wide out of that. We're coming. <laughs> we can concentrate on the bloody driving now. Fancy that. Amazing that. When the cars are nice and controllable, it's almost like magically you can drive. Weird that, isn't it? It's just strange how that works. I guess the uh, the AMS2 fanboys that have been ripping the shit out of me 
uh, I'll be like, oh, well, hang on a minute. Game of Muscle, you, you couldn't drive at all because that's what our arguments were all based on before. Oh. Oh, hang on a minute. Apparently we can now. Apparently I've learned how to drive in, in the course of a single update and uh, a, a setting. Strange. <laughs> Yeah, I really like the physics in AC. Oh, have I got my... Is this auto-saving replays? Oh, bollocks. I, that was the final lap. Exactly. Well, we got third place there. That was good fun. That was, re that was really great. Like, the four speed bike was really nice. I didn't do anything effing stupid. Good times. Oh. Uh, I don't... Uh, the dive, I don't think that's fair. A AC's time model is one of the most realistic at the limit in, in many regards. It, it has some issues with... Um, in terms of how it does, like, uh, if you overheat the tyres, if you spin it up, and if you go on a single bit of kerb... And um, it obviously only does dry weather and stuff, but it's a, it's a great. It's like, uh, as, as far as like tarmac driving in optimal conditions, AC's tire model is uh, incredible. As, as I was saying, as I always say, like, I, I literally know multiple very talented real world drivers. They're like they they're as fast as Formula One drivers driving wise, <laughs> and they are proper drivers, not just like oh I've been to a track and I can drive quickly. They are like shit hot drivers that use Assetto Corsa because it captures the essence of driving their real car. <laughs> so so obviously it can't be that bad. Yeah, you, you, but I think... <sighs> the, so the time model in ACC is, is clearly much more complex than the time model. Oh, come on, don't do that. It's much more complex than the time model in AC. Obviously does uh, heating up differently. Um, uh, when you go off the road and stuff and the wear on it and everything. and It's obviously a more advanced time model. But at the same time... At the limit, it's a little bit, a little bit stale. <laughs> Maybe the real tires are a little bit stale, though. I mean, that might be more realistic for those types of car. But you know, oh look at that animated pit crew. That looks well good. That looks awesome. That's that's a really good animation. No, Thomas Spitzer. Oh, that animated pit crew looks awesome. That looks well good. That makes it, you know, when you have a good character animation in a driving sim, it really makes it uh, feel lifelike. That's a really, that's a really nice animation of the pit crew coming out. No, I'm critical of... Right, I'm critical of all driving. I'm critical of everything. I say the positives and the negatives. The problem is, as soon as you say a negative, people shit their pants over it. You say a positive, no one cares. They're like, oh, they're rubbing, their, rubbing themselves over it because you're saying a positive. Because people like to hear positives. <laughs> I don't... I am like 90% more positive then I am negative. The problem is, you say one... Ne you have to, like, say positives at a ratio of 50 to 1 negatives. And if you say a negative, you have to polish it off with a positive. Otherwise, people shit themselves. <laughs> it's because you said something they disagree with. That's all right, artist Matty Harvey. I'm going to put a car up your bum. <laughs> I'm only annoyed because it's been happening every race. 
Right. Oh, look at him go. Look at that animation. He does do a bit of a slide at the end. Whoa. Look at that. That's a well good animation. I mean, I guess it, it looks like he's just mo-capped. You still have to polish up mocap data, though. Look at him. The way they run out is a well good animation. It's a little bit slidey. A little bit off. Yeah. But that's fantastic. Doesn't look janky. It looks amazing. G uh, GT Sport probably has better pit crew, doesn't it? Look at the um, emolding the pole. The animation of emolding the pole makes the pole look um, actually way, like... You have to realise, with an animation, there's no such thing as actual weight. It's, it's a baked animation. But that, from that animation there, the pole looks like it's got a certain amount of weight to it from how it's jiggling and stuff. He's repeating himself, though, which is not good, but... Yeah, I, I, sims don't... Most sims don't have animated pit crew that's deep. Like the Kunos, what? ACC pit crew... <laughs> they go really slow so they're in time with the stuff whereas what they should do is go normal speed stop put the wheel on and stop <laughs> right I wanted to try the uh, the force feedback file I've got now with a different type of car yeah project cars 2 has I don't know if it's the same animation oh yeah the iRacing pit thing's alright but he looks like he needs to go to the toilet Right, I'm going to make another server here with the, the P car thing. Game of Muscle Muscle. Is there a, the there's not a back in back mono in this. There's the back mono in Project Cars 2. Right, we're gonna try the uh Right, we'll put this on the same identical. What was it? P the P4. Try it with this with this uh, new force pump. See if it still feels like it's flopping all over the track or not. <laughs> Lupin, all right, Lupin. Thanks for taking part, man. Right, there we go. Yeah, have a good night, man. Right, that's right, isn't it? Host settings, game of muscle, teaser password. Welcome, uh, click the like button, guys, if you're watching <laughs> and you're, you haven't clicked it yet. Also, all donations are read out by um, Holger, my uh, German girlfriend. So uh, feel free to donate for beautiful German women's voice. <laughs> or don't. Right, uh, let's check this to, let's go from overcast to sunny. That'd be nice, won't it? And then uh, save that. Okay. I think that's good. I think we're there. Helga, not Holger. Holger's the, uh, Holger's the quick release. <laughs> My mistake. Here they come. Oh, hang on. Is there no... What's the replay thing? There's no automatic replay. What's that? If I click that, will it quit the server? I think it will do. How do we... Then, 
<laughs> Camille. I was joking. Oh, Jesus. He's just 25 Canadian. That's that's like 10 quid, right? Christ. I hope you're rich, man. Thank you. How much are Canadian dollars compared to American dollars? Are they similar? Oh, no, it's not. It's like, maybe it's like five quid. No, it's Canadian 25 quid. That's like 10 quid. That's a quite a lot of money. Hang on. Someone... What is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Go get a beer on me. <laughs> Go get a beer on me. Ah, uh, what a beautiful... I oh, can't... That's the best decision I ever made was getting the German text-to-speech bot. Someone, can someone Google, oh look, look at that, summarise, uh, someone Google 25 Canadian dollars to British pounds. Well, 18, so that's like, yeah, that's like, that's like 12 quid, that's like 15 quid. Put <laughs> your challenge, play seat challenge in waterbed. 15 quid! That's, that's fucking generous, that is! Oh, look, it's fog coming in. 15 quid is a lot of money. Like, to just send to a dit on the internet. And he's donated before. So, you know. Oh, no. There's no... Oh, well. Let's just see how this drives. Yeah, what are you donating for if you're at school still? <laughs> oh, don't subscribe for adult content on the internet. Pay for anything. Don't make that mistake. Go and chat to some real women. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe, Stefanos. I can see us racing certain cars in it more. Yeah, this car's still very floaty. <laughs> Force feedback helps a little bit, but... This car still feels... It's very dislocated from the road. I don't know what's going on with it. Maybe when the tyres warm up, it'll be a bit better. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to make a video on force feedback settings for this game, especially with this DD. All right, turn off the brake magic. <laughs> What's the brake magic? What is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Thank you. E. Howell. Oh, she didn't say anything. Oh, because it's too pat. Thank you. <laughs> There's no message on that. What do you mean, turn off the brake? Ah, then we're not making that corner. Hello. <laughs> No, I didn't watch the Formula One. I don't know why this car's so floaty. It's a nice car, it's just a bit floaty. Okay, I'll, I'll, maybe I will. I mean, maybe this car is very floaty in real life as well, but... I'd have thought this would be more like a Radical SR3. The, the tyres just don't have any... It's got, like, the grip of a Skip Barber. <laughs> we 
We're going to win this race. It's all good. What does FFB mean to show in this car? I don't know. Ow. Right, Apex, thank you for watching, man. We're drifting. <laughs> it's not driving on snow, this car. Oh, look how big the sausages are in the NGK there. You're not going to cut them in this. Do you want to see the four speed back? Oh, you, you can't see it because it's in the bottom right-hand corner. Oh no, you can see it, bottom left hand corner. If you want to join the server, guys, search for Game of Muscle, password T, in capital letters. You want to get the R Fukta force feedback, custom force feedback. Well, I mean, if you're using a DD. And then uh, the settings that I showed earlier. I wish this car had different tyres on it. Like the general handling dynamics of this car are, are all right. But it's like the wheels don't have enough. <laughs> it's like we've got road tyres on it or something. Very strange. The Janetta doesn't do this. This needs like the Janetta tyres on it. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't, it, there's no, like, bite point. It is literally like driving on snow, this car. But the speed of it's fun. And it does respond nicely to the brake and the accelerator. Like, the handling is nice, apart from the tyre grip. It's I tell you what it's driving like, it, as if it as if you were driving wet tires on a slick track. Even on the throttle, it's, it, it, it feels as if it's just um, accelerating, but not applying the power forwards. Very strange. I wouldn't be qualifying in second if I had wet tyres. Also, the wet tyres in this game are even more sloppy than this. I think they fixed that bug, uh, Richard. <laughs> do you remember when Project Cars 2 would do that? You'd have the all-weather tyres on, you'd go out, you'd do the race, you'd have it automatically pick tyres and it'd pick the snow tyres. <laughs> so funny. I don't know what the hotkey is, you, you just need to bind it. This car doesn't have traction control though, I don't think. This car's raw! Yeah, it does happen, it used to happen with like the Mini with this car, but I think they fixed it a few few patches ago. Uh, Stephen O'Sullivan, uh, this is, this car's, the force is quite strong. Bearing in mind I'm using a podium DD wheel. Like you can see when it, I'm, I'm getting a lot of force with my detail. <laughs> Like, he's, the wheels go mental. I'm, I'm, my wheel's putting out, like, 
I don't know, uh, 14, 15 newton meters of force. Uh, the GTE cars in this are more fun to drive than the GT3 cars, tow tip. I in AC. Like, the force feedback in this is way better than AC. Why's DD Gill go mental? Well, I'm not. I'm getting shit loads of force feedback. <laughs> I don't know why it's not saying that, that I'm getting a lot of force feedback. It might be... Um, so what I found with Fanatec wheels is if you run the wheel on 100% uh, and then your game really low, it ends up giving better force feedback than if you run the game high and the wheel on low. I think the Fanatec wheel prefers having uh, the high setting on it. I think it it allows it to respond a bit quicker, makes it feel a bit more immediate, makes it feel clo like closer to like the OSW or something. Who knows? That's what I found though. Here we go, guys. Whee. Qualified in second there. Your Dix is still in here, isn't he? No, he's gone. No, he's there in fourth. JR third. Gritso in first there. Nicky Coolen. Coolen time. He's Nicky Coolen. He's a Coolen. He's Nicky Coolen. Coolen. chat room I'm just singing to myself here here we go uh yeah i think it's a seven lap five lap race default fuel i think is seven laps or something do i have a midi controller no uh i do have a midi keyboard actually but i i, I used to go xlr sweaty out man smell <laughs> a sweaty steering wheel. Here we go. Uh, let's see how much fuel. 11. Oh, actually, you might want to turn it down a bit because it's only a five lap race. I've got a little, uh, what's it, a, a Kia, a key, a key, a, a key, I don't know what it is, little midi keyboard, but I don't, I don't like it actually, because the keys don't feel very nice, I can't play the keyboard very well, <laughs> I can't really play the keyboard at all, I use the keyboard when I do uh, music production, AKG, yeah, I think so, when I, when I use, uh, when I do music production, I sometimes use a keyboard just to put chords and stuff in a bit quicker or to just fiddle around with little tunes and stuff, but I, I can't play it. <laughs> it just 
Sometimes I use my normal keyboard for it. Uh, I, I don't mind jazz. It's not my favorite. I, I used to make uh, music for computer games as my job <laughs> before they like shit games not like actual proper games like uh, mobile phone games and web games that's what I did for a while I'm not good at it but it paid the bills <laughs> go Cold teasers, cold track, cold tires, cold everything. My God, Lord Understeer here. <laughs> Look at this. We ain't got no grip, boys. We've replaced your wheels with butter sticks. But I want rubber, no butter sticks. Oh my god. It's got slick tires, this car. Alright, Richard B. Well, not night, man. This is the MCR, which is quite a popular kit car. Because they're, I think, they're a little bit slower than a Radical SR3, but they're quite a bit cheaper. It drives like a skip barber. <laughs> oh man. Like a slightly more snappy skip barber. Well, one of my games, because I, I used to make computer games as well, uh, one of them got stolen by a Chinese company. I think they made quite a bit of money off it. I couldn't do anything about it, though. <laughs> they, just, they just ripped it off. They literally probably made, like, many thousands of pounds off it. Oh, well. YOLO. I need more draft. I don't know, George. It should, I probably shouldn't be on for too much longer. What's the date today? Is it the 9th? What's the day today, guys? What, what's the date? Is it the 9th? Or is it the 8th? Hang on. It's Tuesday today, right? It was Monday yesterday. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got my uh, COVID jab tomorrow. I don't want to. I, <laughs> I don't want to uh, be exhausted when I have that, just in case it delays my 5G internet. I can't close the gap. Okay, let's try and do it by breaking later. Oh, nice one. How's your internet reception? We're coming. We're coming. I'm going to break later. Break later and less hard. Here we go. Reel it in. Oh, come on. <laughs> Goddamn JR. JR37 is too damn quick. Grazzo30 is off. I want 10 G.
Yes! Lord Late Break. I'm just going to brake a little bit less in the car in front <laughs> until I go faster. Bro. Oh, nice one, Nigel. That's good. Can you see um, infrared as well now? Coming for P1. <laughs> oh no, you've got MS DOS. Wrong vaccine, mate. That was the polio jab. <laughs> when that, you, you don't want that. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Filled out the wrong form at, the, at your doctor's surgery. It's an easy, easy mistake to make. I filled out the wrong form and ended up with Windows 10. At least it wasn't Windows 3.1. What is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Win this race. Ah, oh, thank you, Helga. Win this race. She speaks German if you type in German. Stefano Fortanus. Look at him on his horse. That is how you go under a lorry on a horse. Horses do not mind being slid along tarmac. I, proof. Horses have very good skin. Ah, oh, here we go. Closing the gap. We come in. Oh, it's a better line. The slidey car. That four or five. Oh, look at that. Always brake later than the car in front. Pro tip. Come on. Thank you, Stefanos, by the way, for the donation. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm trying. <laughs> Kratz is gonna. He's. We gotta keep the pressure on him. Wall slid it there. We have got. We are braking better than him, but that's easy to do when you got a car in front of you. With this car, having a car in front of you makes it easier to brake because you you can see that they've made the corner, so you know you, where you can brake a bit later. Ah, oh, come on! It's gonna be close for this final lap. I'm gonna have to get right on his tail through the NGK. Oh, come on. Oh. Betty Swallocks. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God. Come on. 
Oh my god, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Hook up, hook up, hook up, hook up. Go, go. A little bit wide. <laughs> Final lap here, come on. Whoa. A bit close to him there. Almost jabbed his exhaust pipe. Oh, I'm getting to hook up through the Schumacher S. Go! No! Oh, come on. You're getting a monster slide. You're done. Hello, Dr. Respect. Right, NGK Chicane dive bomb. Here we come. <laughs> Maybe you'll make a mistake. Oh. Oh. Why are those sausages so big? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good driving by uh, Grazza. I, I, I was close. Problem is, the more you push this car, the more the more it slides. <laughs> Bloody hell! I tried. Good driving. He deserved to beat us, eh? He kept his cool, and he's dead. <laughs> Please don't drive into me at the end of the race, guys, because it breaks my wrists, and I like my wrists. Oh, I did. Oh, fair enough. Oh. Is that the brake? That's the brake bias setting on the car there. Why's my music stopping? Ah, <laughs> oh, you bugger! I can't believe you beat me. I nearly got you. I, c I couldn't close up on you though, and then and then I was pushing because you have to be I had to be right on your tail for a braking, and I got into too much of a slide. Good training car, this. Forces you to drive smoothly. Yeah, it's because I was just watching where you were breaking and copying it. <laughs> Fro. Ah, uh, T light. You're not an MS2 fanboy. Right, let's try another car here. What, what, what are we going to try next? Yeah, that car's proper slidey, but it, it drives quite nice. It, it, you have to just. It's a shame it doesn't have slightly more bite tyres, because then it'd be a way more fun to car to drive. Should we try like one of the trainers? Oh dear. Did I just quit the... Did that just quit out? Did I quit it like a noob? Hang on. Force... There we go. What about the cooldown lap thing? How do you make it go to AR? You know when you finish the race? Can you make it so it goes to AI control end of race, like in Project Cars 2?
Right, let's... Uh... Try the little, uh, tiny little... How come the trainer advanced has... The Formula trainer has 120 horsepower. The advanced has 106. 96 new meters torque. 140 meter torque. What? Why is the advanced one? I just have different tires. I think it has, has more slick tires, but it's less power. Give it a little bash. It's a short circuit. Let's try uh, on part Fosters with this. Uh, I don't know. It's, I haven't paid off X2 that much. So it's a bit hard to compare them. Compared to AC, I don't know. It's, it's, again, they're just very different. They are very different. Right, let's try this. have to kick this start this one with a all right artist Matthew Army oh no <laughs> what does your wife think <laughs> divorce <laughs> nice one man you'll enjoy it you'll really like it did you get it with a formula rim because I think it's a it's a lot better with the formula rim In there, guys. The McLaren rim that I've that uh, I've got, and the one I've got is a bit um, it's too big for it. I think. I mean, it's good. No, it's fine with it actually. But you 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 lose a little bit of snappiness with it. I think. It's weird that uh, Fanatec tend to make a lot of large wheel rims rather than smaller ones. Well, actually, they do that at go kart wheel rim. I don't know. Uh, it's alright, Ehow. It's the the is Elite's still good. Here we go. We, we're gonna we're struggling. Everyone's falling asleep here. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have put a password on it. Oh well, we'll just we'll just see what it's like. Get in there. Uh, the, the McLaren rim is 300. They need more 270. Well, I guess they've got this Formula rims 270. Oh, guys, we're, we're almost at 300 likes, by the way. If you've just joined us, feel free to click the like button. Oh, boy. Here we go. I, I, I seem to remember this car being absolute shit, but we'll see. We will see. Oh, nice. I love those dislikes. Woo, I missed hit the wall there. Hello, Leonardo Coachella. How's it going, man? 
Oh, yeah, so I need to... Can someone remind me? I need to see if there's a text file to edit to increase... We need that to be instant, because that, that just makes me... Doing that makes me motion sick instantly. It's got an ease in and an ease out. It needs to just be snappy. Nice one, man. Hello, Pixel Therapy. Oh, all the New Zealanders. <laughs> okay. He's a slidey kebab. Not as slidey as the MCR, though. I'll ask uh, I, I, if I, I, I asked um, SMS to do it. <laughs> when they were developing Project Cars 2. I tell you what, they did... The one thing that they got in this... So, in when Project Cars 2 was in, uh, like, beta or whatever, when you, you, you had to bind a button to look backwards, right? Um, and I was like, oh, you should be able to look backwards by pushing left and right at the same time. And they put it in. <laughs> that was my contribution to Madness Engine. There you go. That's, that was my that's that's my madness engine contribution. Yeah, I think AC was like the first sim to do that. I'll maybe live for speed. We're doing all right, Damon Allen. We've been we've got a German robot that reads donations. We've uh, we've got some nice force feedback in Automobilista too. We found something that fixes the uh, auto bin in Automobilista 2. We've got no brake bars adjustment in the car. Exactly, I should have built them for that, for pro game design. <laughs> They're probably going to do it anyway. Whoa, drift entry. Right, hang on. Whoops. Go yeah, 50 50 on this. I don't know what the FX slider does on this file. Let's turn it up a little bit to happen. Oh, I think it's just engine vibrations and stuff. Ah, oh, <laughs> bollocks to that. Turning that down. <laughs> Oops. Here we go. Guys, we got you got five minutes to get in. Uh, mod, yeah, mod mic five through the Go XLR. Why do you like how it sounds? My amazing EQ settings. I get lots of people going that they like my audio, which is weird. Obviously, I'm a pro. <laughs> I never used to, but then, then I went... A bit crazy on the on the uh, bass boost and stuff, and people are like, wow. Dave Cam's uh, Dave Cam was like, oh, I like your microphone sound. I was like, Dave Cam, you've already got a good sounding mic. Uh, DD Will is a big upgrade from a CSL Elite, yeah. 
Obviously, it's their strength. This car's all right, actually. Add it to the list. The Automobilista 2 OK car list. We got um, the Janetta G40, the BMW GTE, the Porsche GTE, um, this Formula Trainer. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh, don't put your brake on. Bloody hell. Put your brake on there. Can't avoid you. Did you should brake check me. Who was that? Bloody penis. Yeah, if you want to join, guys. Oh, Arthur it turns your dampening into power steering. Well, how does that work? So you... It makes the steering more sensitive. Why would you want power steering in a driving sim? Like, you could just turn the force feedback down. <laughs> how does that work? What are you doing? Is he just trying to turn into it? Who is that? Is this guy a wrecker? What are you doing? Or maybe he just crash into us. <laughs> maybe his neck. Oh, he's got 230 ping. It might just be net code. Oh, well. It work. Yeah, but wait, what does it do? Oh, he's, he's basically smoothing the steering out. Why would you want to do that in the get? You could just do it on your wheel. It's basically just the same as turning the uh, strength down. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Doesn't make any sense. I'll do a video about the force feedback settings because um, a lot of people want to know. Yeah, the, the force feedback file is the R Fukta 4.4 or something. That's what I'm using. Oh, man. DD Guild Dream? We have to stop soon because it's like four in the morning. A <laughs> huge error. No, only only with race room. I think uh, Reza probably hate me because I've because I don't shut up about the rear diff thing. No, it's still. I think it's still something weird with the rear diff, but 
if you increase the brake, the engine, uh, decrease the engine braking by increasing the number, um, it stops the wheels from locking up and it stops the cars from getting in stupid slides. So still there's not hardly any lift off oversteer, but other than that, with the cars that are nice in it, at least they don't do, at least they don't just crash you for no reason. Uh, Phil VR shipped some of their pedals and stuff, but then they, they went bust though, I think. Get tire blankets! Maybe did go madness. Um, David Burgo, if you're using a, a Fanatec DD, um, it's much better to run 100 on the 100 power and 100 force feedback on the wheel, and then run the game lower. You get the wheel ends up being more responsive, and then you can you can turn it down on the wheel if you want to, but it's better to just turn it down in game. Start with it on like 20 or maybe even lower, and uh, you 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 get more. You get the same detail, but you get more response. It's more punchy because I think it allowed. I think the DD prefers to have like lots of power going through it. That's what. That's my experience with the Fanatec DDs. It doesn't. The OSWs. It's not like that. Um, it's to do with Fanatec DDs for whatever reason. Here we go. Yeah, I use IRFFB for iRacing. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, with IRFFB, it's just weird how it works. Uh, yeah, well, I, I would just run the CSL DD at 100 anyway because it's, it's not strong enough that you would... You know, you could just run it all maxed out anyway. It's not, it's not so strong that you would want it weaker than what it was, necessarily. With it, with the um, any with a wheel that has over 15 newton meters of torque, there's you know you probably want to turn it down because um, it'll just be too strong. When I use this CSL DD, I just have it on. I just had it on full power all the time. If you're not using IRFFB, it's not iRacing Force Feedback's not that detailed, so. Bloody hell. Um, it's, you drive differently with higher power force feedback wheels because you let the you let the car do a lot of the correction. Yeah, this, this car's Dora the Explorer. We need more gripping wheels. Why are the cars so... They are very slidey in this. I don't know why they're so slidey in this. Alright, yeah, it's different in oval racing. Yeah, you, you actually get, I find with my, uh, when I do oval, I, 
tend to run really weak four speed back in oval racing because you the way you drive in it is different to track racing i think you get because you you're always turning one way so the blood kind of drains out of your hands <laughs> whereas on a track race you, you're going left and right you know so out bloody out got one of those nascar wheel rims for the fanatec which is really nice if you're doing um, oval racing because you, you tend to be putting in very very small steering movements where's everyone gone i need to turn the password off the server like the uh, Toyota pickup truck but they don't run it with ranking in iRacing it's really rubbish I don't know why they don't because it's a really fun car it's probably one of the most fun oval cars drugs it has a um, massive massive draft which I always think is fun for oval racing because you know it give, that, that's the aspect of oval racing I enjoy not not the car set up and try <laughs> if you're trying to drive precisely you're bloody track driving not oval racing you know the point of oval racing is tactically being in the right place and overtaking all the time you know maybe minimizing fuel and stuff Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't worry, we're still in front. <laughs> this car's a little bit downhill braking. This car's a bit, a bit on the loose side. It doesn't like grab this also it's just not biting the road i think this has the same tires on it that the uh, mcr has it's a bit more bite oh what a win beautiful <laughs> don't drive you know what he's gonna drive straight into me don't <laughs> break my wrist I think we'll try the Janetta again after this. I'm going to take the password off the server. Oh, 288 likes, guys. Thank you. Late night, boys. Oh, man. We've got the Australians in here. Bloody 4 a.m. We've had a good view as all... all I, I'm surprised we've got so many people watching it this time. Uh, the fixed trucks Toyota's ranked. All oh, right. All right, nice one. Well done, you idiots, Richard, Mike Danan. Is there not a setting in this so that when you finish the race, it goes, hello, John Proctor. I'm going to make a new server with no password. Maybe we could, let's try the uh, shadows on Ultra. Says this might cause it to crash occasionally, but.
Like Radio 1. <laughs> right, here we go. Um, we're doing the genetics. I want to try it with this uh, force feedback. What is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Thank you very much. Kingfisher Racing, thank you. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> Enjoy the race. Good luck or morning. Um. I'll go for Laguna again. No password. What about that? Will that make it? That will make it start, even if someone hasn't done it. Well, let's try that. Crashed on me Saturday, eh? Thank you, Patrick Panton, for subscribing. Thanks for all the uh, like button clicks here. We're on 294, six likes, and we've got 300, and uh, I can retire. That's it. That's it. That's what I can retire from sim racing. <laughs> I've had mental donations today. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know. Everyone's loving the, the Project Cars too. I mean, Automobilista too. Big leagues. <laughs> oh, Piflini's in here. Get the light bot out. Oh, 299. Almost there. Oh, no, E. Howell. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Huge error. You don't want to donate to streamers. They're the worst. Oh, here we go. Look at all these filthy... Look at all these people coming in. There's no password. These are probably AMS2 fanboys. Last day of work before vacation. Hang on a minute. Is this because I clicked the other option? Wait for like. Oh, well. I thought I clicked no on it. Oh, well. I don't drink. <laughs> I don't drink at e, e Howl. But appreciate the offer, though. I'll have a, I'll have a Diet Coke. Although, when I was in America, they were all bloody... They're bringing water to you constantly. Ice water. <laughs> Would you like some ice water? They didn't take that in America. Would you like some ice water? Uh, yeah, all right. Ah, oh, would you would you like your water top top? Well, okay, sure. Hi, is everything all right? Would you like some more ice water? <laughs> I don't drink water. I drink water. Water, water. Have some water. <laughs> water. What is water? Water rhymes with border. make any sense crazy americans <laughs> water 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 <laughs> sounds like a cat being run over water. Ernest. Uh, no we've been we haven't been to sleep yet oh look at this x files <laughs> Hang on a minute. Oh, I see. 
wash. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, you can't adjust the brake bars until you're driving. Oh man, we need to stiffen this car up. He's all right. Oh, come on, guys. Ow. What did you drive into me for? Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, yes. Look, I put my <laughs> brake bites a little bit high there. Right, let's try that. Jesus Christ, guys. I dream a dream. I dream a dream where cars won't drive into me. Les Miserables T1 crash. Come on. It's, you could just join this server without DLC actually. Subscribing, Danger Killer, Killer. Welcome along. Just pop in chat and say hi. Got we at with no password on this. Three hundred likes. No, two nine nine. It says. You damage your headlights <laughs> in ACC, yeah. Neutral. Is this car? I think this is car sequential. 300. Thank you guys for clicking the like button. Beautiful. Emotional moment for this channel. I can now retire. A car in the pit lane. I like this track. Comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Why are you using V Joy <laughs> with ACC? That make any sense. Uh, 
Uh, this car's not in ACC. This is a, the. Uh, I guess it's GT. Is that Janetta GT4 in AC? It might be slightly different. I think this is this is a slower car. Yeah, the G, the uh, there's, there's both in this. This is the there's two versions of this in ACC. The the Assetto Corsa one is a lot faster. Sunrise. See the pants or pokiness, eh? I don't know. Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. He lost it on the throttle. <laughs> in the shade. Oh. One minute left here. Well, we basically finished this. We just watched the sunrise. I was trying to spin the car around there, so we could. There we go. Let's just watch the sunrise. Just watch the sunrise here. <laughs> oh, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, this car's uh, probably the most realistic handling car in AMS2, in my opinion. Ernest van der Berg is off to work. Good luck, man. Hope you have a nice day. Hope it goes quickly or you enjoy your job or I don't know. I hope something funny happens. He's lagging. Three is too too easy on the throttle. It's a low power Janetta. They like MX fives. <laughs> bit more bit faster than MX five. They like kids drive these. Especially like super, like literally like twelve year olds drive these in uh, what well they used to in their BTCC Sport Series. I 
Oh, you, yeah, but what do you mean? But that, is, that a, is that just driving, though? Zico T, hello. Yeah, it's all right. There's a couple of cars that are quite good. We found some uh, affix to the weird auto bin thing. Oh, here we go. Eject. Having the latest NVIDIA driver seems to stop it from uh, crashing. Although it's probably going to crash now because it's not crashed for ages. You're trying hard to... What, what's your problem with it? This car's really uh, progressive. pit crew chilling out you have to lift throttle to gear uh, just put auto clutch on done <laughs> here we go oh man we go we're going straight away <laughs> they weren't ready yeah, we need to not use that setting, vote to start setting. Otherwise, you can't do the car setup thing, it just goes. Oh, I can't do anything. There you go. Oh, he's flipped him, he's gone. <laughs> he's upside on his roof. Oh, unlucky, mate. I couldn't do anything now. If I put more brake on, my rear is going to slide more. And, yeah. Owned. Chattel, chattel, chattel. Here we come! <laughs> Get him heart attack. Oh, he ran out of track and got stuck in the gravel. Goodbye. Gossip, come back. <laughs> this guy's gone. He's had too many beans. Am I an F1 fan? watched it quite a bit but I'm not really into I'm not into it particularly like I do watch it I prefer F2 
well, F2 has better racing because they're all the same class, they're the same car. Different setups, but the same car. Close him. Fuck six point nine. He's too quick. This guy's too fast. He might maybe he's aero boying. Is there a story to the name Beanie D? Uh, not really. No. I when I came up with it, I was looking for. A, I wanted to be able to buy a .com website. So I spent like three days straight, no joke, typing in two words <laughs> into, into, um, bloody, uh, you know, like the one, two, three reg and what have you. And, uh, Game of Muscle was available. So I was like, shit, that'll do. <laughs> I also own a, a domain that I bought called uh, uh, Revive Games. I was going to use it when I, I for a games company, and uh, apparently that domain name is worth like two and a half grand now. <laughs> two two uh, domain names that make sense are worth shitloads now. Game of Muscle probably worth quite a lot actually. Probably like 10, 15,000 pounds, I'd have thought. Maybe even more. Alright, ignoring ignoring my YouTube channel and everything, but like just, just the domain name. Erwin at the time. Yeah, if I was going to do a new channel, that would be like the Sim Racing Egg or something. I can't catch up with this bloody guy. Too damn quick. Oh, the new battlefield might be alright, you know. I'm looking forward to uh, to that. I, I've, I haven't played a battlefield game for like four years. I played Battlefield 3. I really enjoyed Battlefield 3. It, it wasn't very good, but I enjoyed it. And then Battlefield 4, I was like, nah. It, it was just Battlefield 3 with some different maps, basically. Um. And then I just couldn't be bothered with Battlefield games after that. They were just too too much like COD, a bit too cheesy. But I quite enjoy going through. If the Battlefield 4 is, uh, Battlefield 6 or whatever we're on now, is basically Battlefield 3 and 4, but with better graphics and stuff and, well, you know, some other stuff. I think I'll be all right. like to play it'll be it'll be all right for like 30 hours at least is it just as a game to play through morning jb j j b hello t 
too much faster. <laughs> Hello, foxy one. Anybody watching that's new? Click the subscribe button, welcome along, click the like button and cry. It's Australian o'clock though. People are loving uh, the tuning in for the Automobilista 2 at this time. Woo! Oh boy. Here's a question. Why are you so damn sexy? I don't know, she's natural. Why can you pronounce mounting correctly but not battle in Battlefield? What? You don't. Battlefield or oh, mountain, mountain and battlefield. <laughs> Battle, battlefield, battle, mount, mountain. Yeah, because I grew up in the Midlands, so I like have those like people use both. <laughs> it's the rest of the grid. You guys are too slow, you peasants. Bottle, give me a bottle, mate. I'm going to throw a bottle at your face. Well done, David Gossett. Myself, you're a ditz. Digit tequila, Pflinny, more wep, smash, ebok, poo juice. Poo juice 5000. What on earth is that about? Undertow, Jew. Well done, guys. Right, that's number wang. Oh, that's good racing there. I'm gonna have a little break here because uh, I'm, I'm, I might get have a little sleep. I'm dying. <laughs> We've been streaming for too long today. Too much excitement. Too much faster. Have to make some more videos. Yeah, the key is when you do the race multiplayer, you have to. Uh... It's one of the settings. Oh, there, it's this one. <laughs> right. There we go, guys. What championships in this now as well? That's quite good. How does this work with the? Uh... in this okay <laughs> race distance scale Let's see what happens I'll check tomorrow. I'm going to open up a time capsule buried as a kid. Can't wait to see how big my puppy got. <laughs> it, it will have grown. Right, let's see what this is like. Edit that setup. We've got a 30 minutes quali here. Does this car drive 
Crazy or not, let's find out. Oh dear. <laughs> what is this track? I've got PP mapped. Unless it's reset. Yeah. Well, thank you, uh, Tanzlix, for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Concentrate because I don't know this track at all. Hello, John, John M. Hello. This is my quality lap. Can we just, once I've done this, I wonder if I can just skip, finish the session. Obviously P1, because I'm a ledge. How do we go to the next session? Oh, skip to end. Here we go. Right, here we go. Continue to race. minutes. I don't know if that's enough laps. Let's just do this just in case. Right, what I'm going to do is... Uh... I'll just let them all go past. <laughs> Yeah, I should have put them on a harder setting. I just went with the default. <laughs> okay, we'll rejoin the track there. Don't mind me. Testing out the AI a bit here. Whoa! 360 no scope, reverse drift entry. And into the track and block it. Let the AI go past there, there you go. <laughs> I think I pulled across a bit too much there and contacted someone. Right, here we go, now we're starting from the back. That's what we wanted. Old tyres. I 
don't know why they did. Don't they use Japanese drift skills in uh, Brazilian stock car? Totally planned. Hello, Betty Swallox. Swallox. Oh, good, good defending, guys. <laughs> Wow, the AI's all right, you know. Can I pit maneuver this guy? <laughs> He's getting out of my way. I'm trying to kill him. Oh man, they need to sort that out. Anyone from Reza watching? It's Brazilian time zone. If you, anyone from Reza that hates me in the chat room, please, for the love of God, make it so that when you click look left and look right, it's instant. Please. <laughs> Please, it's torture. No, I'm using the uh, Fanatex uh, podium wheel at the moment. Wee! Easy. I need to turn the AI up. I, I'm doing this race just to see what it's like with the championship mode because uh, I'm not trying the championship mode. AI seems pretty good though, to be honest. Like, I mean, I need to turn them up to high difficulty, but they're not. They're not just. Uh, they're not just killing me. Hero! I mean, this, you have to admit, it's pretty awesome to have a mode in the game where you can just go, right, I want to I wanna experience what it's like to kind of do a Brazilian stock car racing. Click the championship button, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, you're doing the track. Like, I mean, because I, I don't know. I don't know which tracks run in the Brazilian stock car series, but it's quite fun to, to like have it, you know, to do it. Why not? Shit, why is he breaking there? Yeah, well, that, that's it, Erwin. Uh, it's a common thing for causing motion sickness as well. In real life, you, you like, you might turn your head a little bit. I guess if you're wearing a hands device, you can't even turn your head. You would just look your glance left it would yeah it would effectively be something that happens in the space of like a two five ten milliseconds i think the problem is is the developers implement it as if it's like you're moving your head which is not just how it works oh nigel no they don't have any rights <laughs> say no to ai rights Google it when you can drink lots of wine and then <laughs> and then you can't look at your wall. Then you can experience it. Oh, look at these right handers. I'm going to pit maneuver this guy. Let's let's test it. Oh, we've still got 10 minutes to go here. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll, we'll work our way through the field. Why not? Thank you, Mr. Skips, for subscribing. Oh. <laughs> Use the AI as a break. Yeah, that's pretty good that it allows you to do that. You know, it's better to have the AI be forgiving rather than... You know, it's, it's more fun gameplay. If you're driving AI, you're probably not a pro sim racer because you'd, you'd be racing online, you know. 
skips. You won some, but now you've resubbed. Oh! <laughs> it's because YouTube hates me. YouTube's been trying to cancel me for years now. The, the most successful, unsuccessful YouTuber. <laughs> they can't stop me. Whee! Yeah, I've got the AI difficulty too low, but I want to finish this race to see what what happens with the uh, the way it's done. Drift entry. Luckily, it's got a soft lock, so my DD doesn't go mental. Shall I try and pit manoeuvre him? Right, let's do it. Let's get the pit manoeuvre in here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Come on. I'm pushing him past the other AI. I'm doing him a favour. Really nice how the car's driving over the bumps. Here we go, here we go. I'm gonna pit me over this guy. Oh no! No, <laughs> no he's got me as well! Ah, oh, tandem drift. Oh shit. Okay. That didn't really work in my favour. Bloody hell. <laughs> I try I end up wrecking myself. Right, let's let's get these paces back here. Three M he's stuck to the track. I think, I think they've done, the AI seems really good, you know. We need to, obviously I need to turn the aggression, <laughs> it's rammed him. I need to turn the aggression up on the AI and the difficulty, which we'll do after this race. But the main thing is you don't want AI ramming you off the track for no reason. Like it's fair enough for AI to have their own quirks. You just don't want them doing like, you know, when you're turning for a right hand corner and AI just plows you off the track. Oh, 3M does everything. Tape, Velcro, paper clips. What else they do? Everything. What's my thoughts on AMS2? Oh, Jesus. He's coming in at me. I think uh, I think he's still got some issues with the rear diff and any car that's got diff settings. But there are, I'd say there's like three, three or four cars in it that are really nice that I mean they drive like cars so if those cars are to your taste but also I have to say like this um, this championship mode just being able to click it and you're doing a chat that's fantastic like that's actually that's absolutely fantastic like that's something that's shit in most sims and that gives it a really big reason to play it You uh, need to, the default, the in-game force feedback is, is shit. So you need to like swap that over with the force feedback file. I'm pretty sure you can save. I don't, I don't think you have to do it in one go. I think it automatically saves your progress. Graphics are great. It runs nicely. It's really good to play in VR actually. Sounds nice as well.
main thing is Reza keep polishing and working on it, and it, you know, which is frustrating in some ways because it means you might have a car you quite like, <laughs> as Billy Strange found out. There was a car he liked, and then it went, then it was all crappy, and then it was good again. This reminds me of Toka Race Driver. <laughs> Auto saves. No, I, ju I just I didn't set him to anything. I left him on the default. So we're gonna I'm gonna do a race after this. So I'm gonna turn the AI up. Uh, still easy to snag and lock the brakes. Oh shit. DD will. <laughs> Whoops! Almost broke my hand off there. I mean, I did just drive into the track. It's entirely my fault. What's the, the difference between a CSLD and a po podium? The uh, force feedback's a lot, like the strength of the force feedback's a lot nicer on the podium DD. The CSL DD's got less, uh, it's, it's more free and moving. I mean, both are fine, but like, I personally I've used so, I've used um, stronger DD wheels for so long that I find it, I'm just used to having that bit of extra strength. I like, I like it. I find it a lot more immersive. I've got a mandatory pit. Okay, I put my auto pit in there. I don't want mine in car mirror resolution so low. Look at this! What a people. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, well, from an upgrade from a G29, to be honest, a T300 is a really nice upgrade from a G29. Um, the CSL DD is a really good update. You know, like, it's beyond more than what you'd... Like, it's quite a big upgrade. <laughs> if you had to go from a G29 to a DD, you know, that's a, that's a huge upgrade. I mean, I, I went... My upgrade was Momo Black Wheel... Well, technically, Microsoft Sidewinder force me back wheel, Momo Black, then the uh, Logitech G25, then I bought a T300, uh, then I bought Fanatec Club Sport pedals, low, the V2 load cell pedal, um, then I bought a TSPC Racer. I didn't really like it that much. And then I got a OSW direct drive wheel. And then I, then I got a, a Fanatec podium DD wheel. Oh, no, I, that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> Tried to overtake on the grass. What's he doing there? Final lap here.
Might enjoy the MS2. Yeah, we've had good fun with it today. We've, we've had some really good races. You have to pick specific cars and have some specific settings, and uh, you can have some good fun with it. Ah, oh, I mean, force feedback is nice as well. Right, cool. Let's see what happens here at the end of this. We're gonna try do the. I do the same race on the same track, but we'll turn the AI up a lot more. Hello. We're gonna do a cool down lap. So what's really nice more than anything is how uh, well it runs like the frame rate is well it says 97 but we're it's very smooth if, if ACC was running at 97 FPS it would look like there was delay and stuff whereas this is like utter smooth the, fra the frame timing is good if that makes sense it's not hitching at all though. it's not dropping frames you kept injuring your soul. What were you doing? What was your seating position? Oh, DD2, though, is quite strong. And Max Force. Also, it depends what wheel you're using on it. Like, so one of the reasons to have a stronger DD wheel is if you're using a 270mm uh, wheel rim, like this Formula rim, you don't need as high force feedback to get a very strong force feedback to your hands. Uh, and also for the wheel to resist you. But if you're using like 300 or 320 millimeter wheel rim, you need more strength in your force feedback to get the wheel to feel stronger because obviously you've got more leverage. Hello, little Matt. Right, why are we still going? <laughs> What's going on here? Do I just quit? Skip cool down that. There we go. There's the results. Rubens Barrichello's in this. Oh, here's the uh, round one. Right. So now we're on number two. Yeah, look, we need to. What can we go up to? Oh, okay, here we go. Let's put on. What's the max? 120. Let's put them on 100. Let's put them on 110, and let's put the aggression up to max. <laughs> they were like, they were like uh, pacifists there. Okay, let's see what this is like. It's, uh, we can't redo that because we've just done it. Well, we. That's good that you can change the difficulty, but then it feels like it's cheating a bit. Because <laughs> you you could change the difficulty for each track. It's like, well, what would make more sense is if it had like easy, medium, hard, or like e easy, easy, yeah, maybe, maybe like easy, medium, hard, and then like a a god mode. Like players don't need this many you know they don't need like 400 opponent skill level options hey chris a and then then the reason of having like set difficulties is that it becomes a challenge for you because you're like oh i've beaten it on easy oh i've beaten it on medium oh i've beaten it on pro do, do you know what i mean and then you set it up in the game so that on the main menu if you beat it in those settings you get, you get like a star for finishing it on that difficulty. So then you get the reward of completing it at that difficulty. Do you know what I mean? It's, it, that, that sort of thing's good game design. <laughs> uh, DD Wheel's pretty silent, JB. As long as you're not, as long as your rig's solid. If you if you put it on a solid surface, it won't bounce. The thing that makes noise with a DD Wheel is if you. Uh, Ha don't have it firmly on the floor. Right, here we go. We turn the difficulty up here.
I do not know these tracks at all. Yeah, mine. I used to use the OSW on the Simi on, on the Simitech cockpit. It used to, the whole thing would bend. I actually had a race room cockpit that I put a uh, uh, an Acuforce wheel on, and it bent the cockpit. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Stuck in the slide here. Bloody hell. Whoa. Once the rear goes over the limit, it keeps going. I do not know where the... Okay, you go, you go in front of me and I'll follow you. Why? Keeps going. I just at low speed it go the rear just keeps sliding. It was alright on that high speed track. Like, what on earth? What? What <laughs> why have we got such a trolley rear? Now the rears are overheated. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, at least you can catch it. Oh, man, my rear's a noodle bobbed. It's a nice track, actually. It's not the fact that the back comes out. It's that it wants to stay out and don't, don't come back in. I think I've done these tyres in. <laughs> oh, gee, like, what the hell? What on earth? Oh, you can't adjust any of this. Open the diff a bit more. Tire is dead. Yeah, let's try not to light them up and see if it might have been that we just lit them up and that was it. They, once they've gone, they've gone. Be really careful on the throttle. We don't want to slidey nude all the tyres. Oh, bloody hell, the AI's on. <laughs> too quick for me. They're too much faster. Well, that's good. You can at least use the AI to learn tracks here. Bloody hell. Yeah, you just got to be really careful on the throttle. Look at that, even from my outlap, the tyres are cooking. <laughs> I 
<laughs> they're already out lap. They're already they're already gone. Marshmallow wheels. Ah. Oh. oh my god. The world's hardest track. This. Do we? What options do we have? Apparently they're the hard slick tires. Apparently there's hard slick tires. Not there's like they're acting like super softs. Uh, just pressure. Let's reduce the pressure a bit. No, we want higher pressure so why why is it in ACC the higher the pressure that creates more temperature that now the power ramp that's fine I can just put my foot on the gas less Uh, no, it's not. I'm not having a problem with my with the car's handling. I can drive. I can drive around the rears popping out by just pushing the accelerator less. The the issue is that even with the normal driving, the tyres were overheating. Let's see. If these are the hard tyres, these are the tyres we're going to have in the race, so they should last more than one lap. <laughs> That's number wang, Rob. I think maybe increasing the tire pressure is stopping them from overheating. Have it! We were driving. Uh, we were driving uh, drag tires, <laughs> floppy carcass on the road. <laughs> this track's awesome. Absolutely batshit mental, but it looks like a it looks like a Japanese drift track. Yeah, look at that. The uh, tire pressures have fixed it straight away. mental is that like those the default tire pressure was literally undrivable <laughs> so stupid oh, 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 oh. new line that's the game of muscle line textbook <laughs> textbook line there bloody hell I need to get the break point for that corner 
I need an AI in front of me that I can follow so I can see where the breakpoints are on, on this Tokyo drift track. This is like a track that you'd have in bloody... Um, something you'd have in uh, Live for Speed. <laughs> It's an awesome layout. It's a really, really good layout. It should be in other sims. Often it is these, like, semi-local tracks that end up actually being fantastic layouts, but you never see them in anything. They're, like, more nippy. Yeah, we were saying that earlier. Like, literally, like... You can't expect people to know about time pressures. I mean, maybe, maybe making the... I don't know, there's just ways to present this. I mean, there's so much to do with this sim. There's ways to make sims more accessible, but that, that in itself is a lot of work. Ugh. The, the brakes are still quite snaggy on this, though. Which is uh, quite tricky. Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah, may maybe. But we did, we did have the same tyre selected, and then we changed the, uh, the pressures again. But yeah, I guess it was overheating as if it was a... Uh, the wrong compound. Well, they fixed that bug, though. Thomas Schmidt! Thomas Schmidt! He's out to walk his dog. Walking in the fog. How's it going, Sir Schmidt? Oh, I'm mastering the drift corner. It's like, what is that Japanese drift track with the jump before the corner? I'm loving this track, guys. This is fantastic. Whoa. Absolutely fantastic track. Take that, you shitter. We've got a well good exit. There we go. That'll do. We'll skip to the race now. Yeah, we, we've been playing for a while. You know what I'm like? I keep going at things. <laughs> this is uh, YouTube life, eh? Ah, oh, we got into sixth place. Skip to the end. Continue to the right. There we go. Rubens Barrichello. How dare a Formula F1 driver be in front of us? What what difficult did we put the... What did we have it on? 110 or something? Michael Swade, what what you need to do is use um, you need to use the, um, the the R factor force feedback file, and you need to use the um, you need to use the engine braking with the cars because it keeps applying like throttle, which stops the wheel. So if the wheel when the wheels do lock up, they start rolling again. Because I, as I said before, I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with the rear diff, with these, with most of the rear diffs in this game, and uh, that engine braking thing seems to negate those issues a little bit, and makes it more drivable. Right, let's try this out. 15 minute race.
yeah, th this card tends to snag. Snag. Oh, I didn't change the tyre. Oh, I don't know if the tyres are going to overheat. Well, we'll see. So, AI on 110 here and maximum aggression. Angry, angry cars. Yeah, they're, they're probably the worst thing about AMS2 is not the game, but it's insane fanboys. Where basically everything is you're wrong. Nothing, there's nothing wrong with the game. It's your driving, despite someone maybe having a lot of experience with every driving sim. <laughs> it's it's always your fault. Whoa, two wheels, stunt drive. I don't know if this is a new car. I just, I've just gone into championship mode. I mean, the, the AI is really good in this, though. I, you know, like, they're not doing anything stupid. And they're a reasonable pace. He says as I get rammed in the arse. But that, that really does... The championship mode with AI absolutely pushes this game up for people that don't drive online. You know? That's not the break point there. Okay, here we go. Drift entry corner. Whoa. Look at this! You're racing! Shit the bed. What is the name of this track? I can remember it. Ah. Oh. There you go, I've got a peep. I've activated my PP. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder there. Landerina. I'm putting this track in my top 20 at least. Yeah, this is this is fantastic racing. See, this corner is really well designed in the. It's a tight corner with a on a break with it going down. So it's a kind of corner that makes the car leery and hard to balance. So you have to so you know, it's a corner where you can exploit you can use more racing talent. <laughs> I just totally pushed him off the track. That's pretty cool. Oh hello. Now I'm back I'm in the sandwich. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. <laughs> They're coming in! Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, he's on the inside. Of his... Bloody hell. Oh, how good is that? They did a proper good overtake. Well, do you know what, guys? If you wanted a single-player racing game, this might just be the ticket. Like, how rare is it for AI to actually do moves like that? That was bloody amazing. Car on the right, car on the left, car coming up through the middle. That was a really good overtake. I think Project Cars 2, they used to punt you quite a bit, though. It, it was, like, super dependent on track and car in Project Cars 2. Uh, AI aggression is on them on maximum. Whoa! He's <laughs> gonna flip his car over. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Drift entry. Yeah! <laughs> Take that! 
100% legal overtake there. I'm driving like an Italian in the city. Whoa, it's look. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Rear camera. I was, oh, bugger me. I was, I was being a TV presenter for a moment there. Forgot that there was a corner on the track. Oh, oh geez, is he... Okay, the AI, AI pit manoeuvred me there. Oh, bloody hell. Rejoining, don't mind me. Oh, they, that was all right. Look at that, they let me... They actually avoided me there, my terrible rejoin. <laughs> right, now we've got to get some places back here. Trackle, trackle, trackle. Hello! Guten Morgen, hammer, hammer, schnell, schnell. <laughs> Guten Morgen, hammer, hammer, schnell, schnell. Ah, das ist gut. Thomas, have you played R Factor 3? I mean, Sector 3 and Automobilista 2. <laughs> oh dear. Thanks for the donation, man. Oh, it's a Chevy. Am I in a Chevy? Oh, I am. Chevy stock car. Things you learn. Coming through, matey. What a move. Aggression. That was a Brazilian overtake. It does the number troll in German, Thomas. <laughs> it's well good. Schnell. Well, this is this is uh, this is bloody fantastic. I mean, I hate AI racing. It's normally absolutely trash. Like normally, when you race AI. They slow down in stupid places. They don't make moves on you. And when they do make moves on you, it's like an annoying pit maneuver. Do you know what I mean? Like it's an, an annoying overtake. It's not like a, a good overtake. And this track is effing insane. So for the AI to do a nice lunge overtake is really impressive. Come on. Trying to put danger. Oh no, I'm gonna I'll have to say something negative again though. I don't want to... The thing is, the, 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 because of the fanboys being such penises, it makes me want to not say anything positive. <laughs> but I stay true to form. I'll say whatever I'm thinking. I just get annoyed by people that don't say things off what they're actually doing. Do it like, do you know what I mean? They've already made their mind up that everything's perfect, or they've already made their mind up that everything is shit. It'd be really nice if everyone applied a bit of critical thinking to stuff and based things on what the actual thing was rather than some presumption. 
got to get these gaggly cars here. Shout at us though, we'll get the pit board in the face. <laughs> oh, absolute lunch party. Oh no, arse, cock wagon. Accelerated with my wheel on the grass. Oh, right, here we go. Rejoin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm in front of him. Oh, no, he's going to still get in front of me. No. Ow, oh, bollocks. F. <laughs> this track's brutal. I had a wheel on the grass when I did the move, and it then I got spun. Wow. Wow. That didn't go well. That's, a black, that's, a, that's not a black flag. That's a criminal record. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. Pro tip, guys. Don't, don't break with your wheels on the grass. That's my, that's my tip for the day. I think I'll get a penalty if I speed into the pit. Oh, little. Like, what? <laughs> what is this? Entry is like a bloody driveway to a posh manor house. Get out there, boys. Look at that animation. Oh, I'm last. <laughs> I can't think what went wrong. I thought I drove perfectly, if I'm honest, you know. Now, the, the AI has been amazing in this. I, I am actually massively impressed with the AI. As a, as a hater of AI, like, honestly, racing sim AI, I mean, I don't even like FPS AI. It, I, I loathe it, but this is actually genuinely compelling racing they, they, what they need is for the on those difficulty settings they just need to name it as I say like uh, easy medium easy medium and pro and then have a and then have a custom setting and then have it so that if you beat it on easy you get like a bronze little graphic if you beat it on medium silver and if you beat it on pro you get gold do you know what i mean or maybe like even if it's like easy medium hard pro oh gee no oh, what's going on now i think i'm knackered the car hey julian we're gonna finish this race anyway <laughs> because why not I might as well just block the road. Hello, President Joe Biden. Well, in America, you should pay more tax for your gas, so you can you could use it for lots of things. We don't. You pay nothing for tax in America on gas. <laughs> I'm Joe Biden, and I endorse this message. Oh dear, Joe Biden is like four million years old. I don't really do leagues, I just do like sprint races with people. 
I'm actually 6.5 million years old. Oh, so so when he was born, the uh, I know dinosaurs were like 200 million years ago. What was 6.5 million years ago? Is that like the the beginning of uh, of man? I'm sure modern man's only like 200,000 years. <laughs> fought in the Civil War. He was on the front line with his bayoneted uh, <laughs> thunder bluster or whatever they're called. He was actually a pirate. Late Cretaceous. That's like 200, 200 million years ago. Mosaic. Well, so what was in the mosaic? That was after the... Um, when was the uh, meteor strike? And the mega volcano eruption. result <laughs> messed that up a bit that was good fun though you can watch the replay of it as well that's cool well, we'll probably do that uh, Elisa Fabio with subscribers What was banging around 6.5 million years ago? It was, it's probably all small mammals. These cars are ridiculous. They look like BMWs mixed with a 90s Ford Mondeo. <laughs> with a, like what? What is it? With like a WTCC shell over the top. Your father have owned four of the cars in the game. All right. Woo. Well. So, okay, we're saving the replay. I don't know how that works. Saving it though. I don't know where it saved it too, but it's saved. Oh, hang on. Let's see. If we've got photo mode here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. How do you move the camera forwards and back? Oh, no. How do you actually move it? Oh, it's the, oh you have to bind it. All oh, right, fair enough. It's the same. Project Cars 2 time. He's got the motion speed. go thank you Woo. look at that
what is the motive behind this demand necessity necessity for money i am not supplying money for necessities thank you very much alistair alisar uh, fabia thank you so much man really appreciate that super generous That Buka. I always do it my, in my uh, I do a lot of photography myself, and I really like having. Um, I really like having it where you, you get the camera really low, um, and so you have it so that you can see the foreground of the floor out of focus. And then you use that. Ideally, you have something in the foreground that leads into the background for the framing. And then you have that out. Oh, we're going through the car. And you have that out of focus. And then that acts as something interesting to draw your eye to the thing that's in focus. But it also grounds you into the uh, into the image. Welcome to photography with Game of Muscle. <laughs> photography through driving sims. I do a photography course all through driving sims. You always want, with a picture, you want something interesting in the foreground. And something, ideally, that leads to the actual focal point of the image. Ten bucks in Aust Australian is more like half a pound. Oh, I still awesome. I really appreciate it. So anyone that's willing to waste money on me, uh, thank you. You know, allows me to keep doing what I'm doing. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. It's not a good picture, but it'll do. I just want to take a picture. This is like what it, if you had um, if you had uh, in real life what they call what are those cameras called uh, light field cameras. <laughs> this is like as if you had a light field camera, like because it's a three D space with like the the depth of field is entirely arbitrary to whatever you select. It's basically like light field photography. This is what this is what photography will be like for everyone in like 50 years time when all cameras use like light fields and AI to generate a 3D space from a effectively a t it'll be a 3D image but you know it'll, cre it'll create like a holographic scene can fly around the track yeah should we do it Yeah, I mean, you can use a lot of people use uh, Microsoft Flight Sim for like you can Microsoft Flight Sim so good that you can set the time of day and everything, and the lighting will line up and you you can set up for pictures. Uh, you, there's a limit to how far the drone will go. Um, but yeah, you can use Microsoft Flight Sim to set things up. It's pretty cool. The, oh no. 
Oh no, we're still going. Countryside over there. Mark, hey, thank you for subscribing. Oh, that's the limit. I oh, know. That's weird. It messes up on the mouse. But it works in the UI. Saying you're Dracula. Why not? Did it won't let me oh there it is wouldn't let me get on that one oh I can take a picture through his window Oh, look at that. Skill photo. That's, that's photography, guys. <laughs> Imagine timing that up in real life. This is the actual this is actually the actual game. Yeah, this is my new Brazilian holiday simulator. Well, I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I've gone a bit mental. More than usual. I've gone, in, I've gone insane here. Right. <laughs> I think we're done, guys. I think we're done. I've gone insane. I've gone insane. Oh no, now it can go insane in the cockpit. Right, okay, we're done. We're done with that. Okay, well, there you go, guys. I think uh, I'm going to have a break. <laughs> but uh, that is number one. We, we've... Uh, Oh no! I think I clicked restart session by accident there. Whoops. 
Hello, Douglas. All right, thanks. Hope you are as well. Yeah, that didn't count. <laughs> we accidentally reset. We click restart. That's too easy to do. Oh well. Um. Right. Didn't happen. Okay. There you go. That is. Uh, oh bloody hell! We've been playing this for six hours. That is Automobilista Two. There you go. Ten out of ten. Maybe we'll do a video soon. No, we've been streaming for longer. We did like four or five hours in ACC beforehand. I, I will see you guys soon. Thank you very much for taking part. Thank you for clicking that like button. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for everything. I will see you all soon. Happy sim racing. Happy tea drinking. Goodbye, guys. Have a good night.